Oh, that's what I'm talking about. See that you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? Thanks for tuning in this, today, this evening. Thanks for your time. I'm your host, Kevin Young, off the record, uh, along with my co-host, Mr. Lye. What's going on, Mr. Lye? Hell no, Shorty. Oh, <laughs> we got that shit tonight. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. We in the old day corral. I got my motherfucking cowboy hat on, and I'm ready in this bitch tonight. Hey, I got my I got my cowboy, I got my flag vest for the military. Hey, look at this man with this goddamn vest. Yeah, man, we got King Fred on here. We got uh we got my boy uh news uh was it bad news? Bad news. Bad news coming on, man. And look, we're gonna talk about some stuff tonight. Look, I'm, i appreciate y'all tuning in. And man, I'm here to tell you. Let me say this before we get started. Man, I had to go pray. Once I saw Benito, once I saw Benito live. Oh boy, I tell you, I was like, okay, so what can off the record do to top that? I don't think we can top that. I don't think we can top that, man. I don't think we can top that. I don't think, and you know what? We gonna lead that over there with Benito and let him handle that bid because, woo, man, I tell you, man, I tell you. Woo! But look, but look, we, we got a great show for y'all tonight, man. Like I said, we're gonna discuss a lot of things on here. Uh, everybody know what the big uh, elephant in the room. Uh, with that incident that happened down there in Shreveport with the ZBT uh, celebrity basketball game. We're going to talk a little bit about that. But my thing is this right here, people. Here's the deal. What is the issue? What is really going on in Southern Soul? What's going on in Southern Soul? You know, can we not get along? We as black people, can we not get along? Can we not respect each other's opinion? Can we not respect each other's space? I mean, what the heck is going on in Southern Soul? So do I need to start wearing a flight vest like this right here to, to the shows? Do I need to start doing this? Do I need to start carrying my, my rifle back here to the show? Do I need to start doing all that? I mean, hey, that's, crazy. Hey. that's crazy. That's crazy. Look, people, we got to get it together. Hey, no. hey we, we got to get together on the serious trip. We got to get this together. Because like I said, man, you know, they keep talking about Southern Souls and new R&B and all those stuff. Man, look, we got to get this stuff together, man. I'm serious. I'm dead serious about it. And you have to respect people's damn opinion. You have to respect people's opinion. We're going to talk about that a little bit tonight. I'm waiting on, uh, I got Fred King Fred right there. I'm waiting on, uh, on, on, on bad news to pop on here. I, I, I don't know what he's doing, but he need to come on. Come on, on news. But I see y'all on here. I'm glad y'all on here, man. Um, like I say, we got a, we got a great, great show. Uh, been trying to get King Fred on here. You know, y'all know King Fred, you know, King, King Fred, no pull, no punches. He go live and he be going off and stuff, you know, but a lot of the stuff I agree with what he's saying. Uh, he's a good guy, man. He, he say he's different from the rest. Uh, so we're going to talk to him. I'm, I, hey, we're just going to go and bring him on, man. Uh, bad news having some technical difficulties. So without further ado, we're going to bring on King Fred. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's the word, baby? What's the word? What's the word? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We can hear you. We can hear you. Can hear you. Good, good. I'm good, man. Yeah, you Chill. good? Oh yeah. I see you out there in uh in sunny weather out there, man. What's the weather like? Man, it's beautiful out here today, man. Guy came down here, uh part of my Anthony Springs. He over there at Mobile somewhere. I'm gonna get with him in a little bit. Yeah, uh, he's he been hitting me up. So when people come this way and they wanna, you know, hang out with me, they hit me up, man. I'm making my business at least try to meet them halfway, you know what I'm saying? They right over here on the territory. So I, you know, I go spend a little time, see what they about, you know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Cause they do a little they do a few things too, so we'll talk about it. You know, oh, boy, I love I love that twang in your boy, that motherfucker. They <laughs> down there with that motherfucking bullshit. I got, right, right. I got no room for that motherfucker. Right. There you go, lad. There you go. There you go. Hey, yeah, yeah. You where, go. hey where, huh? you be at? where you be at, man? Oh man, I keep him on deck right here. You know I, you know I ain't. <laughs> You know, you know, I ain't coming lacking. I ain't gonna be. I ain't coming lacking at all. Okay, young, I got you, man, and a cook. And a cook with that crown, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm ready. You drinking beer and a crown? And crown, you know what I'm saying? That's my chaser. Bill, my chaser. 
And you driving too, or you stationary? No, I'm stationary. Man, stationary. Me, there ain't nothing on the road yeah, with chillin'. these goddamn uh, coyotes <laughs> in them motherfucking hills. <laughs> ain't nobody. <laughs> Hey, but but look, you know, I ain't even in Mississippi, Carol. I'm back and forth. I'm in Alabama now. You know, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. rise eye down here in Alabama. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's going what's going on with your news? What's up, man? What's up, y'all? What's up, Fred? <laughs> what to do? What to do, bad news? What to do? Nuna came on that mother like he pussy. God damn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what you, hey, what you got on, man? What you got on, man? What you got on, man? Bro, man, I just got a shower, man. I'm gonna you down, man. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I ain't got no job. I ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> that nigga talking about he got Versace on. That's what I'm talking about. I'm at home with action, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm out yeah. with y'all, man. Yeah. Hey, man, you look. Sound like you, hey, you hey. sound like you got theme news, nigga. Don't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, well, yeah, uh, hey, uh, let me say this before we get started, man. I appreciate you guys coming on, man. Uh I like I like when you guys come on, man, with the fans. I can talk to you guys, ask you questions with your fans come on ask you questions because y'all are in the southern soul world over here. And uh I listen to y'all music, you know what I'm saying? I listen to your music all the time. I watch I watch y'all lives and stuff, man. So I've never I, I talk to y'all on the phone, but I've never did a face to face um interview with y'all man so i think i think after talking to y'all uh prior to this interview you know what i'm saying y'all got a lot to, to tell the fans because y'all been, been a lot of places y'all know a lot of places i guarantee that some of these people on here now don't know the people that y'all know you know so so let me ask you this question right here before we get started go ahead live you got anything before i get started on my question Man, I want y'all to just tell y'all stories, man. I want to get to know King Fred in depth, and I also want to get to know news in depth. Because y'all both my boys, man. Y'all know I done both tripped on you on the phone, and we done did, we done talk in depth shit. So, yeah, y'all, but you crazy the hell, boy. You crazy the motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know nothing about live. I fuck with London. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take my shades out of that shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna gonna it, huh? Wow. That's so look, about ask, it, man. Hey, let me ask y'all a question, man. Uh, give us a brief history about yourselves and where you're from. Go ahead, King Fred. I'm at originally from Clarksdale, Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? I went to school down there in Jackson State when I left um, uh, Clarksdale and then stayed in Jackson, Mississippi a few years and ended up over here in Alabama. Okay. So, oh, you in Alabama? Yeah. yeah. I'm in Alabama now. Well, you over there by Mobile. Baby Nick, over there by Mobile. Oh, yeah. You three right hours next to Mobile. Oh, we got to up, boy. Because you crazy uh, there, too. I fuck with you, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that nigga be going. I said, I said, I said, I said that, that, that my gold team yeah. brother is something so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We just keep it real, man, over here. All gas, no brakes. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Up. We ain't sugarcoating nothing over this way. You know what I'm saying? I don't sugarcoat, man. Man, what you eat? Hey, what you eat? Some cereal or something over there? Then I told you. Some taco. I told you he <laughs> puffing out. You know, puff the only one sent a motherfucker down the street for some goddamn cheese cake. He didn't suck the motherfucker for cheese cake. Nigga, <laughs> I need to have my chest on me taco, nigga. Okay. Hey, 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 tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Where you from? Well, I'm from Penn City, Alabama, man. Born and raised. I got uh-huh. Food and let me back in. Got put out again. They let me back in. I paid for a diploma. <laughs> yeah. Went to jail at seventeen. God let me out, and I'm back. <laughs> That's good deal. That's good deal. Now, King yeah. Fred, King Fred, let me start with you, man. Go, live, you got anything before I get started? This woman here done cooked some goddamn popcorn. She know this shit gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all eat me. Yeah. Go eat. Go ahead, live. You got anything? You got anything? Nah, man, just like I say, tell y'all story and let us know about y'all, man. Let these fans know about y'all because off the records is off the record and let them know who y'all are, here, man. Okay. Hey, King Fred, now mm-hmm. you got a song called Different from the Rest. Okay. How are you, yeah, right. from, how are you different from the rest? I'm assuming you, you reflect that in your song. How are you different from the rest? Man, we too different from the rest, man. We don't get tied up into all that other extra shit. The ring, we different from the rest, man. I've been a trend setter. From Body Rock, out the Body Rock, you had your Body Rockers coming with your Body Rock songs. We just did a song, a song called Cool from Mississippi. Cool from Mississippi, man. You know what I'm saying? Now you got your songs 
for the Cougars coming. They let you know they watch. We just turn chance up we different from the red car. We know you're watching. It's a lot of people don't like us. You know what I'm saying? We all gas, no brakes. We can't seem an affiliates. I deal with uh any brother of mine that you know that, that got that drive for this music, man. And if they down, like lied them, you know what I'm saying? Lie pull way up out of Texas to go support a brother down there in Mississippi. And we do that a lot. So that means a lot to us. So when we see that, we know we can do music with them. You know what I'm saying? Some people say that uh, it don't do you no good to do no music with other artists. Well, it's a give and take situation right there. Hit and miss because like this. If a, if a brother out there that's at the top tier, y'all call him, um, um, reach back for a younger brother that can help him. It might not help that brother already that's supposed to be at the top, but it still can help the bottom brother. As for me. You see, I deal with what we don't even consider ourselves them A level, B level, C level folks no more. Cause I should have been one of the ones at the top a long time ago when Nick D them came and got me. But I'm just being honest. But what I'm saying, we got the mud artists, man. Too different from the red. We don't even classify ourselves with that extra, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh a lot of this southern soul stuff, you know what I'm saying, with the teens and all this shit. I started that shit, to be honest with you. I started all it, and at the same time, I tried to correct it when I started seeing things start to go sideways with the different clicks and shit, you know. Yeah. You had uh, Jabbo with the love uh, thing going on. We was over there, all gas, no brakes. Then you had uh, uh, Trucker Divas and Trucker Team and all that stuff. So basically, a lot of that shit came from us. And I'm going to be honest with a lot of people don't know. Man, that uh, Facebook Live and really started with DJ MVP. It was a DJ of I. Right. DJ, MB, DJ MVP, the first one to do a Facebook Live on Facebook. And then they jumped on it, and everybody started doing it and running all over the place with it. Mm -hmm. See, DJs had to figure a way in. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They was already in, you know what I'm saying? But I was really looking at the DJs. You know, some did it from the heart, was getting the equipment ready because they want to go into a club. <laughs> but most of the DJs that I know and I deal with, they do work in clubs. Yeah. That's the difference. But, Fred, let me ask you this question. I heard that you be getting into it with DJs. Is that true or not? Well, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't necessarily get into it with the DJs. Necessarily, okay. Not necessarily. I got into it with one DJ <laughs> truck. Yeah, that was true. That was yeah. true right there. Maybe maybe, maybe it's been a, a, a couple of other ones. It's just some taxes they did I might say I ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? That just, you know, it's, uh, oh, okay. that's how I go. Yeah. All right. Bad news. Yes, sir. You, uh, you came from the rap scene, right? Yeah, man. I came from the hood, man. The slum. So tell us about your tell us about your rap experience, and then tell us about your transition over here. Well, I, I came from rap, man. I used to always a lot of folks kind of they remember me, man. I used to be with Boots and Webb all the time, Pastor Troy, Mister Servon, Silk the Shocker. I used to be with them a lot, man. And I, I don't I don't seen a lot, man. And, and I just it was good over there. The money was good, man. But I ain't never seen no money like this subtle soul money, man. You know, <laughs> this subtle soul. I can go do a show, you know what I'm saying, K Young. I ain't got to worry about getting shot at now. Yeah. Old show, boy. Nigga be jumping off stage and everything. Nervous here, rapping like this. Don't know the yeah. who, who, who or none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, For real. Yeah, it I don't know. I don't, I'm comfortable over here. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I don't know. They were fighting uh, Sunday. They will fight like hell. Mother will get knocked out and everything. Boy, y'all on now. Y'all on What? You see? Yeah, you see man, man, fuck that, man. <laughs> fuck all that, man. Fuck all that, man. I be quiet. You don't never see me get on Facebook and all that extra shit that talking. I don't do that. But fuck yeah. it, man. Y'all seen yeah. that shit. Everybody seen that shit. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. I wasn't there because they, they don't want me in Louisiana. No way. I'm really banned out Louisiana. <laughs> I would have never came on. Wow. <laughs> hey, look, look. Let me ask you this question, man. Well, this is what I heard. This is what I heard about you, my uh, bad news. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me let me put my shades on. Okay. On news. I'm, I'm so, nervous now, boy. What, what, what? <laughs> well, look, so I, I heard this is what I heard now because I'm gonna do my research. I heard about some indictments on the rap side of what a famous artist. Is that true or not? Yeah, man, we got blessed though, bro. I, 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 I'm gonna say I was supposed to be here with y'all now, you know what I'm saying? But God had other plans for me. That's another reason I jumped over here, man. It reckless over there, bro. And when you're yeah. rapping that life, folks go try you like you ain't about that life. So right. when we out of these shows, you up your stick. I'm up in mine first. I rather your yeah. mama cry than my mama cry. I rather my mama come visit me in the jail than the grave. Right. Yeah. I, I'm gonna say yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm blessed to be here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, That's good. That's good. That's good. That, that's, why, that's why I don't get in all that mess ass social sucker soul social media shit. Cause I know me. Yeah. Well, I will click the fuck out. <laughs> Man, let's hear, let's hear, lie. 
Listen up. See, people be on the outside looking in, man. There's a lot, man. People be undercover having beef with you. But see, I'm one, too. I, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. You can ask Jesse Thompson. I was a one-man arm in Jackson, Mississippi. I went to war with the whole JPD department. They tried me. They, they, yeah, they, they tried me over, uh, over a female I was dating, man. One of them was out of uniform hey, Fred, and tried to come I in. I that far, Fred, because they got yeah. that yeah, they, I've been dead around the around They, 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 was, they was on my head. Why you think I'm in Alabama? Hey, yeah. They were on my head. I'm going to say this now. Out uh, the motherfucking yeah. gate, nigga. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to say yeah. this, and yeah. both of them know, nigga, if you went to war with that motherfucking Jackson, Mississippi police, yeah, you shit, they were. motherfucker off top. Yeah, it was on the ass, man. I like to hang with me. Mm -hmm. Nigga, swing yeah, they, with me, they don't run. <laughs> yeah, they were, they, were, they were harassing us over there by Clinton Boulevard, West Week of the area over there in Jackson. Man, you over there in the hood man. like a motherfucker you doing over uh -huh. there, man. Well, went to school. Well, you know Jay State. Well, I had a rap show one night in Jackson. Me, Fox from Trill, and uh, Hatch Boy Booster Brother. But when we left that goddamn show, all I'm gonna say, I was supposed to stay one day. I stayed three. See, <laughs> I probably yeah. got children and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you will find something to do, man. You will find something to do, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, boy. You find something to do. I know I did. So how was your yeah. transition from over there to the Southern Soul, man? Man, it was it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was easy. I thought it was gonna be hard, man, because it was crazy how how I um, started so so with Sir Chalk. I asked him, man, I'm like, I want to do a song with you. He like, no, nah, I'm just gonna bring you the Southern Soul, man. I'm gonna change your life. I'm like, how in the hell you gonna bring me the Southern Soul rapping? He like, uh, I'm the king, nigga. I can do what the fuck I want. Just watch. <laughs> then bet, let go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some mm -hmm. like it, some yeah. don't. But fuck them, the one who don't like it. Just respect me. So you sign? Are you signed with Chalk? Yeah, I'm the first artist. Okay. So let me ask you this question right here. You you said some like and some don't. So how does that make you feel? Or, or, or do you think do you think there's a place for rapping in Southern Soul? Just doing a quick and a brief. I mean, yeah. I'm 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 a fan of hey, young, right you an OG. Yeah. Like, you see Lil Baby doing gospel, right? Yeah. Why can't New do Southern Soul? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> good music and good music, man. And like it ain't no category of good music. Some folks stuck in the 80s. You don't see a wet no goddamn Jerry Carroll, no bell about a motherfucker. Open your eyes and wake up. Yeah. You know what? I saw I saw Shirley Caesar rapping. I, and I, when I saw Lil Baby rapping with Kirk Franklin, I'm like, oh no. And like I be seeing these people throwing shots on social media, like he this ain't I see the I'll bring rappers in the Southern Soul. Yada yada book. Man, you say my motherfucking name, boy. <laughs> I know who you're talking you know about. I know yeah. who you're talking about, but say my name. Yeah. I ain't been come back up on here, goddamn. I'm trying to find a goddamn iPhone location. Yeah. <laughs> Pull up, bitch. I will one. I get on the goddamn plane in a minute. I got so many free miles. What's that? <laughs> well, let me ask you this question right here. Let me ask both of y'all this question. Uh, Fred, what does Southern Soul mean to you, man? Southern Soul to mean to me, man, is a new, it's a new uh off branch to R and B soul. See, like mm -hmm. when my season Tyrone Davis number was out here, man, they classified this as R and B and soul. It used to be like rhythm and blues. When you thought of rhythm and blues, I thought about Lynn White, Bitter, right, and all that. But the new R and B these days is a lot different. So what I think of it's just an offset branch to me. That Southern soul kind of it's a different blues than uh, what we accustomed to. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, you got that deep, dirty blues. You know that catfish blues, like Elmore James, BB King, them, you know, and then you got like. Your Marvin sees your Tyrone Davis, Johnny Taylor, that Motown sound and all that, that. That was real soul, which we sold too. But the Southern Soul is an off branch. It's more of a, it's more a, a, a little more flexibility. I know back in the back in the gap, we had to be careful how we wrote songs. We couldn't be too nasty for the radio. So if you mm -hmm. were too nasty for the radio, they wouldn't play. They wouldn't play the song. No. But now, but now we getting we getting off. We getting. Nasty, you know what I'm saying? And they actually playing the songs, you know what I'm saying, on the on the radio. Yeah. So. What about you, News? What, what does Southern Soul mean to you? I your phone, your it, it breaking up. I couldn't hear you. What you say, OG? What does Southern Soul mean to you? I mean, two words for me, man. Love and pain, man. They both talking about the love side and the pain side. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. all good music, life stories. You know what I'm saying? Real life. That what I that what mm -hmm. I consider Southern Soul. No, oh, okay. Now, King Fred, was it true you got kicked off a show because you was uh, performing vulgar with some kids with that? Yeah, uh, me and Brother Hubbard went. We we was at a, a horse. <laughs> we was at a horse show. The guy, the guy that hired us, I I let him know exactly what songs we was yeah. gonna sing. 
<laughs> but you know, when you when you put on shows like that, they always got like a co uh, co worker with them. You know what I'm saying? Somebody to help him out with the show. And I guess yeah. he felt like he was the bigger of the dog. But we went to Rockin' That Cougar from Mississippi, and Brother Hubbard hit the dirt. He went to sliding all across the dirt. And so uh, the, the crowd started going crazy. They started loving it. Even the kids, like, he couldn't take it. He came down there. They, they shut our mics off. I said, bro, we done got kicked out. We done laughed. We laughed all the way back. They were like, we told y'all we got kids out there. We thinking, I said, man, man, fuck that. It's 40 degrees out here. It's 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. They should Holy be at hell. home. By, they should be at home by 9. You knew you were going to run a blue show up. Hey, look here. All we got to tell you, man, when you when you hire a Kings team, man, uh, uh, parental discretion is advised if you got kids out there. I'm just letting you know because we coming through and we want to perform. We want to the way we feel is how we perform. New York, so when you never, down there too, when you down uh, there today, what about huh? when news down there that day, Fred? No, nah, not that time. He wasn't at that trail ride. Right? Yeah, yeah there was a, there was rodeo actually. He wasn't oh, at that rodeo. Was yeah. So, so what was y'all doing? Was y'all twerking up there or something or what? Man, <laughs> hunching the ground all up on the post <laughs> gates. We was all up on the post gate, bucking loose, man. And they <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell no more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I made it. I made it all the way. I made it all the way through to my set. The last song was well, gonna be cool with Miss. If they ain't cut it out till we get ready to get into that last, last part, so by that time it was over with. Damage had been done, man. Yeah. <laughs> Damage had been done. <laughs> wow. So, so yeah. yeah. Hey, have you ever had an experience like that? When you got kicked off a show for twerking? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, I ain't got kicked off a show for twerking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, believe it or not, though, man, I went, I went to a Southern Soul show, man. I ain't uh, no messy no nigga, man, but the dude, yeah. the promoter, I got on stage, man, I did my thing with Char. The man run up to me. So I'm saying, man, I want to book you, man. I like what you're doing. Yada, yada. You the Southern Soul Jesus. The next week, this damn man on, on social media talking about something. What's up with these rappers in Southern Soul now with these gold teeth thinking they gangsters? I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> he was, I'm a, he was scared to goddamn say something to me there. Oh, man, what are these feelings? That's what it was. I'm like, man, yeah. this a so, bitch. So look, now, now I spoke to each, each of y'all extensively. Now, both of y'all would agree y'all can't sing, right? I can't, yeah. I can't sing with a damn. That's why I rap. No, so, I can't. I can't. I can't sing. I just use what God gave me. It just sounds good when I put it to music. Hit out the hit comes for y'all. Get no break. That's, that's it. <laughs> what's, your, what's, your, what's your motivation then, man? Just, just y'all just like doing music. Cause I know you. I know you came yeah. over OB, right, Fred? Yeah, yeah. Tell, yeah, us, well, a, tell us a story about you and OB. Uh, see, man, I was uh actually I was in the sixth grade band before I started playing sports. So I played the saxophone, but there was an older fella down the street by the name of Johnny Billison, man. He had a little band, so he taught us. So we was able to get out of school and stuff. We were going out to the Kennedy Center and stuff in Washington. We had to go play for the president one time. We were playing that deep down, dirty uh, blues, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but OB, man, one day, man, I had seen I said, I like, I like that, and I, I think I want to try that. But see, OB prior to that, it kind of got me. He had to check me because I was around there, man. We was gang banging and shit, shooting at folks' houses. We was shooting every, <laughs> shooting every damn night. He had to come get me like, that ain't the way, right? So he took me on the show with him one time. After then, I liked it. So I just kind of hung around. And then I started to learn how to write. And then I, 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 I realized I, realized up, I had man. Hold up, uh -huh. I ain't trying to cut you. You damn right. right. You damn right. You damn right, Lyle. You damn right, Lyle. Right, right. 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 Hey, you can take mm -hmm. a nigga out the hood, but you can't take the hood out of nigga. What? You can't. <laughs> You can't. You can't. Hell no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, well, yeah, 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 yeah. He, hello. Yeah, he, that, that's true. That's true. But but not. But not. But not. I'm gonna call yeah. your ass yeah. out yeah. this show, boy. Nigga, you talk to yeah. me on the other. Yeah. Nah. But, nah. Yeah. So, so yes, sir. And that's true. You can take. You can take. You can take. You can take a, you can take a, you can take a nigga out the hood. We can't take the hood out of the nigga. Take the hood out but that, nigga, that's cause. That's cause. That's that's, that's 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 why when I when I go to a show, it's always up there. I know I got, Fred, I got plenty of head Fred. haters. Huh? Hey, Fred, I bet you can't track me on this motherfucker either. I bet on I can track you on your phone. I bet you can't track me on this. Die. I <laughs> bet you can't track hold me on up. this. Hold up, hold up. Let's pause there for a second. Fred, you said you got plenty of haters. So yeah. what, what do you mean by that? 
Man, I know I had plenty of haters from like one on one of my relationships, you know what I'm saying? I spared out on a female. They ain't like that. So a lot of my things kind of like walked away. Some came back, some walked away. They ain't like what I did. But you know what I'm saying? That was a learning experience for me, you know what I'm saying? You know, we all mm-hmm. make mistakes in life. So I made my man so a lot. I just kept pushing. But for those that don't like me, you know what I'm saying? They still can't make a break. You know what I'm saying? We still right. doing our own thing over here. So you can't stop. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? The music coming. So that's what my love, love it, huh? So, so do y'all care if, if, if somebody don't like your music or like you, another artist personally? Do, you, do that bother y'all? Hell no, because for one, for one, you gotta you gotta look at it, you gotta look at it. They'll take a brand new person. Now to me, you know what I'm saying? I already know I just use what God gave me, just sound good with them now. I can tell when somebody trying to sing but can't sing, and they just have one of those ranchy, you know, the southern soul, the, the usual typical ranchy beats they'll come off with in Southern Soul. And if that band wagon get behind a person and that person say, Man, I like it, we're gonna follow him, that's where the majority of them go. So a mother say, Oh, I don't like news, I don't like Fred New be up there rapping and shit and shit like that. So they pass it on to the next person, pass it on to the next person. Now a person that ain't even met you yet. I ain't met you, I ain't seen you, I ain't, I ain't came to check out now performance. I don't think they going by for another person's word. So all the thing it is in Southern Soul now is a bunch of uh, missing word of mouth. Meet me for yourself. I don't need nobody telling me, look, anything you want to know about me, I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And that's but, just that. That's just that. You know what I mean? You, 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 you ain't got a woman. Are you concerned if, if other people don't like you? I like your music and uh, other artists? Only thing concerned me is the fake shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't act like you rock with me and you don't. If you don't rock mm-hmm. with me, don't speak to me. I right. understand. It ain't no problem. But don't be up there dapping me up and then going to holler at the neck man talking about me because that's fake shit. That's and that'll bring that yeah. old dude out me and what I'm trying not to go back to. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. help. I ain't going to speak on no name, but I don't help plenty of people in Southern Soul. And I ain't even been in Southern Soul that long. And they already done crossed me. You know what I'm saying? But I let yeah. Karma deal with them now because the old me, you wouldn't even be hearing about them or they wouldn't even be making no posts and they'll be running for their life. Yeah, because Fantasia said, if you don't want me, just don't talk to me. Go I swear to God, I clear for long. Yeah. <laughs> I clear for long. Yeah. yeah. But, but, yeah. but my thing is this right here, man. <clears throat> now, Fred, how long you been in Southern Soul? Man, I've been around a long ass time, man. I, well, now, like I said, I was around, it was back about 95, because I know when uh, old B dropped that, that first bag up, Love <laughs> I, prior to that prior to that dropping out, I was in the basement too. They locked me in the basement too. Cause I wanted I was really more on the right side of things. But I think they wanted me to sing at the time. See, that wasn't in that wasn't that wasn't my interest at first. <laughs> but so one time I wrote this album, two uh two uh songs I got, three songs I got to Jay Hammer. And two I got the uh two or three I got the OB. And uh OB was saying, like, you gotta put some give me a break in these songs. And, uh, and Hammer was like, God damn, Fred, write the song, bro. I can't hardly breathe on this motherfucker. <laughs> then somebody was like, <laughs> somebody was like, drop it yourself. Like, how you can't breathe? I, they were like, put it out yourself, put that song out yourself. So I did it. So I put a couple of them out and I dropped out Body Rock and then should have, well, should have made my wife first. But Nick and D. Mars now find me in the field over there in Thornton. I was live with the band. We was down there. And then they went, they picked up that shit of major my wife from then they got me some work down here, her and uh Beverly McDowell. So I was always kind of familiar with the mobile area. They were the ones that first bought me this way, you know what I'm saying? Mm. After we came and did that show. So uh shout out to them and WDLT over there. But other than that, man, we I do it from the hall, you know what I'm saying? See, I got a real passion for this shit. So I do this shit from the hall, you know what I'm saying? Some so, shows I take, some shows I don't. If he can't get me to another level. Some shows, just uh, it's a hit and miss for me. Like, mm-hmm. a lady could call you and say, I want you to come through and do something for my anniversary party if you get close by. Sometimes, you know, I don't mind doing shit like that and shit like that. Depends on where you're at. Depends on how, and depends on who you are. I do things like that. But other than that, I turn the whole show down if that motherfucker ain't gonna get me to the next level. Because if it don't make dollars to me, it don't even it don't make, sense. make sense. I'm just right. wasting time. Hey, Lou, you know Lou, what I'm let saying? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question when I heard about your album. I heard your album was shell. Yeah, man, I'm folks all lying. What happened? An artist I had on them, man, he ain't got his paperwork straight. So that killed the whole project, you know what I'm saying? And it was something I ain't know it was a learning experience. I was warned about it, but me being hard-headed, thinking I know every goddamn thing, Charles told me, I told you she was going to bite you in your ass. So mm-hmm. they took my whole album down, but I'm a hustler. When they took that bit down, I went got 10,000 CDs pressed up. Yeah. <laughs> I got so many goddamn $5 bills in the damn thing in here. I okay. don't give a damn. So, so what was the scenario? So you you added one artist song on your album, and just because the album, 
I mean, that artist was signed with somebody. He didn't get permission, so they killed your whole album. Permission and the song. So the, by him not getting permission and not telling me the song wasn't clear, so they took the whole album down. And wow. then, then the same people that took the album down, they got mad. They wanted to keep the album up, but it was a gimmick to it. They told me if I sign with them or sign my album over to them, the album will stay up. I told them, fuck y'all in that album. Yeah. Wow. So how do you fix that? Do, do you go back and take the song off or put another song on or what? No, nah, I just want to press up 10,000 CDs. <laughs> <And> <laughs> you sell the hell you sell out of from it. the trunk. You sell from the trunk. I'm like Master P in Southern Soul, man. Every city I'm in, I'm at the trunk with a shirt. I got, a draw, I I got, got everything. Feeling, baby. I got, I got Clorox. I got Febreze. Whatever you want. <laughs> I, I got it. But see, here's here the thing, though, New. Ain't, yeah. no way I'm a, ain't no way I'm going to let nobody share my whole uh, album well, just because I put one cat on my shit. See, if you do your own shit and register your own shit up, you ain't going to have them problems. You, you ain't got to worry right. about nobody sharing your whole shit. You might just take that one song down. But yeah. do your own shit, learn how to register your own shit up, and go from there. That's all you got to do. See, a lot mm -hmm. of these artists out here getting fucked already because they don't know. They feel like it's too much work. The sign they shit up with CD baby and shit. Now, if you do it with Distro Kid or Tune Core, you gonna have to pay a, a fee every year. It's like yeah, you paying yeah, for yeah, that, that same every every time, every time, every time, every time. Yeah, I don't so, work that shit. And see, yeah, he taught me that shit after that shit happened to me. Like I told you, go listen to him. I told you, don't put this artist on them. And I'm yeah. like, man, come, man, this song here hit, man. I don't believe these people gonna do that. Well, the first person you should have consulted with was the king, man, Sir Charles. So you kicked yourself I, in the ass. I head. did. Yeah. I went yeah. over his damn head, and that's why that shit happened to me. He got <laughs> beat in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I told you on the hard head that this shit was gonna happen I to you. I cannot get over yeah. this motherfucker. Sir, Sir Charles, ever tell you about Simpson John? Uncle Bobo? Uncle Bobo. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. From help me. From Help Me Records down there in Bolton, Mississippi. That's where Sir Charles started from. I'll be with him tomorrow. I'm down, so I'll ask him, Fred, what the yeah. name is? Man? He knows Senator Jones. Helped him Senator put out that. Senator Jones, Uncle Bobo. Hey. Uncle Bobo. He was, about to pick, he was about to pick me up. Right, you see what happened? There was a bad uh hurricane came through that year. He was about to pick me up, but he died during that hurricane season. And I ain't get picked up behind because I was right behind Sir Charles with Help Me Records now. God, yeah. hey, bad news. Yeah, yeah. Bad Damn. news. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Does that yeah, motherfucker, does that motherfucker got a a, a, a chirp on that? Hey, hey, motherfucker, this a two G. Why did go? Bitch. I'm going to run the fuck down the street. I swear. Man, let me FaceTime you on my, my, me FaceTime you on my flip phone, man. If that motherfucker... Let <laughs> me FaceTime them, man. Hey, man, how them hey, 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 like, old folks look at their phone? How them old folks look at their phone? How them old folks look at their phone? How them old folks look at their phone? Boy, you the... Boy, I didn't know you were talking to me on that goddamn phone. I call you the hour on that bitch. Hey, let me ask you this question right here. Y'all, uh, y'all married? Both of y'all married? Y'all got y'all got women live with y'all? Y'all married? Or what? Now my woman live with me. I ain't married yet. We have well, been looking at that. News, you married? Hello. You married? Hello. You married or not? <laughs> I take I take that hey, as a yes. I knew. I knew. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, I know, I know, I know, I know I ain't giving me, but I got you. <laughs> you, you got to tell it. We, I, I, I'm just going to say, can you, Who when do? you get comfortable, are you comfortable to tell that story you told me the other day? <laughs> 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 oh shit! Hey, look, yeah, man. Don't ask me what you want to ask me, man. Come on, man. Come on. We, 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 okay, it, it, it's off the board. Come on, let go. How the re are you comfortable to tell the story you told me out there? That's all back. I'm comfortable, boss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you no, know, I called and checked on you, dog. You know what I'm saying? You say you was under weather. <laughs> you say you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you say you was on the motherfucking weather, right? Yeah. News. Huh? 
Tell them what the fuck happened when you found out you had the roller, nigga. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, check this out, Fred. Check this out. Mm. So, boom. The other, the, like, last week, about, about 13 days ago, I got them laying in the bed, right? <laughs> I just got them here, so I say, boom, my ass on the floor. I'm thinking I'm dreaming. I'm trying to get up. Got them laying, locking like a bump. I can't even get up. <laughs> Look, I crawl. I crawl to the other side of the bed. I told my dog, I said, I said, babe, get up. I need you. I told you about drinking this goddamn syrup. You always drinking this codeine, you stupid motherfucker. What you talking about? I can't breathe. You got to get me the fuck away from him. Man, you know, stupid ass ain't got no call. You don't know, open the door on that goddamn syrup again. That was your stupid ass get. Boy. I get, to, I get to the damn hospital. Them folks said, ma'am, you want to brought him? They brought him in dead. <laughs> <laughs> tell, him when, tell him when you fell in the motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> Lord. That boy. <laughs> that way, well, look, I'm in the bathroom. I got them get out to get up to get out the bathroom. I just got them just do. Boom. I started grabbing my damn legs. I'm doing like, what the fuck? Is this? I started hitting You know how you feel your legs, your feet on the seat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to yeah. get up. I went to sleep. Why I get up? I try to get up. I just fell again. Boom. Yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all, I was calling yeah. him, man, you know, dude, I heard he was sick. And I'll call and say, hey man, what's up? That boy told me that stuff. I say, man, I'm sorry, but I was on my motherfucking knees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I told him, I said, man, nigga, you ain't shit, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you laugh at a nigga in this type of situation. <laughs> Back, hey, back to my original question. Okay, bad news. You married and King Freddy. Both of y'all got women live with y'all. Yeah. Okay. So, how do y'all women feel about when y'all out there twerking on them women in shows? Well, you know what I'm saying? I learned a long time ago, man. You got to have a special woman in this business. You got to, we go out there and have to do what we got to do. So, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm already working out what God gave me, which I, you know, I'm very grateful for. So, with it, with along with it, uh, I'm, I'm hunching. We hunching and bumping. We bopping and grinding, and it's just simple as that. <laughs> I'm saying we bopping and grinding because it's like that. It's like that. Now, now, some, some, something can be like you know you can get women out there. They might want to take way. They like multiple pictures. You might end up you trying to take a picture, get one right with a one. You might end up taking ten pictures and shit. So you know what I'm saying. My time be limited, especially if my queen be out there with me. You know what I'm saying. I ain't got. We got to make these three or four count, goddamn it. Cause I'm telling you, I know her. I yeah. know her. Yeah. yeah. What about so, you, news? Shit, I sleep on the couch more than I sleep in the room. <laughs> stay in the stay in the <laughs> dog. <laughs> hey, look. Stay in the dog. Look, they're on the couch right there. That's why I be in the room. Right there. <laughs> every yeah. goddamn week, I got a goddamn show. Every time I come back, boy, y'all seen that move where they got down that nigga walk through the house? They got that woman throw that goddamn frying pan at his ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I see one thing I know. You know what I'm saying? See, you get like this most nine times out of ten. When we go out on these shows that we do take out women. They go over and uh, she got to understand it. We going out there to do what we got to do. But one thing uh, for certain, and two things for sure, we getting back in the car, which is when we trying to get to the house. Got to and get back go, in the car to get to the house. Hey, mine, mine, yeah. mine, mine so, won't even come to yeah. the show. Yeah, but 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 the thing is, do you think do you think there should be a certain level of respect uh, that the women should display while they while they while you on stage performing? You talking about the fan women? Uh, yeah, the fan women. They ain't go well. Well, uh, my thing was like when they when they pay their money, kind of hard to say. Yeah, Man, sometimes, so it's man. Okay. So, it's okay women, for them, so it's okay for them to grab your scrotum? No, see, I got see, I got a jock strap for that now. We went down there, <laughs> we went down there, left here, Alabama. I got a jock strap for that now. See, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. <laughs> see, all gas, no brakes. All gas, no brakes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they, cause they gonna slick touch and shit. Especially if they, they just spend 40 dollars $40 at the door, a gator. Whatever they spent twenty five, you know what I'm saying. Some of them don't come to sit down. Some of them spend their money. They'll yeah. sit there. They'll sit there if you can't get their ass up. See me? You ain't got to worry about it. You can sit your ass down if you want to. Yeah, God I'm damn it, King Fred, Fred, I'm coming through. I'm gonna come get your ass. And I, yeah, it's just bottom line. Two of you, if I need to. All the record fans, 
Y'all the getting some good shit here tonight. Mm-hmm. I told y'all y'all better watch tonight because this shit was real tonight. Man. Hell yeah. Dude yeah. said he got a dodge back. This I, I, swear, got, I swear this to God. This man got a motherfucking flip phone. This uh, man got a guy with a army vest on. Uh, <laughs> Man, it's real in here tonight. Well, well, it's real. See, when I, I learned, I learned after the band, after the pandemic, we went up there, man, with Andrew Vine. Them, man, them people ready to come out. Once they get to their feet, it's up there. You know what I'm saying, uh, uh bro, brother Hubba, you, you know, you seen it. You see, excuse me, you, you see how it goes, man. Right. Y'all see how they go, man. Let so, me ask you a question. How, how did y'all get y'all stage name, King Fred and, and, and News News Blues or News? Was it Bad News? You yeah. changed it, didn't you? It's it's just it's just what happened to the sound. I can hear you. To my news. News. Nope. <laughs> now King Fred, how'd you get your uh how'd you get your name? Coming down here, uh, Nick, Nick D uh, was helping me, uh, working with me, her, her and uh, Beverly McDowell. And Beverly liked to dance, you know what I'm saying? They brought me down for the Spring Fling like around 2009, I think. It was in 2009 when they when I first hit my Spring Fling. I ain't know nothing about artists paying to get on the shit and shit at that time. Uh, things changed over time, I get, but I was up there, man, and I was bucking loose up there. We were singing Shit of Major, my wife, or something they liked down there. And obviously, uh, um, my thing was swinging everywhere, so Beverly kept saying, King Dingling, come on, Fred, King Dingling, King, come on, Fred, give it to him. So she kept saying that. So as I hit down the stage, matter of fact, we was at uh, out there in that field when they first found well, out there. They say they when that when I came down, Nicky D. Ma ended up saying King Fred, so I took that shit and ran with it. So I changed so your, my name. So your scrotum, I, fell, out, so your scrotum fell out to jock strap. No, no, I just wasn't wearing them then. Oh. I wasn't wearing them then. Now, now back in no beat. Now I learned about the they was wearing jock straps when we had a manager named Aaron Wits. Aaron Wilson was OB manager and, and uh Jay Hammer uh manager before he passed away. And he, he did some work with David uh Isaac too. That's cowboy, space cowboy down the class in Mississippi. He pretty good too. But now uh I, I heard of them back then when, when they them them older artists was was wearing them. Because when the women hit the stage, I'm talking about you talking Tyrone, Jan and them, they, they they coming and they gonna sneak fears in on you and shit. You got three people standing right here, somebody reaching in from behind them just to grab your nuts. Just being nuts. Is it is so it, y'all yeah, watch. Yeah, but, yeah, but they, they nuts hung lower because they were older men. Huh? They oh well, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna t- put it to you like this. My God had blessed me. I'm blessed and highly favored. <laughs> Yeah, they I say I I I I wanted to say I can't even say it right, man. Well, I got more things than balls, goddamn. <laughs> Hold up, man. What kind of cap show this is? <laughs> well, y'all are in here tonight, man. <laughs> Well, I ain't know how to put it out. That's the best yeah. way I can do it, man. I try, I'm trying to be professional here. That's Kevin side that shit. He's hey, starting news. it. News, we can't hear you. Nope. Mm-mm. He yeah, now with that. Go out and come back the, in. With go that flip. Come back in. He, he got out, that non trackable He got that. He got that non trackable man. You can't do nothing with that non trackable man. That non trackable yeah. going in and out, man. But yeah, man. But yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I started. I started to have to prepare myself, man, because out this pandemic, and these these people really coming out. You know what I'm saying? Some people yeah. that went out, jumped on out there, started running shows here and there, uh, stuff like that. And you know what I'm yeah. saying? Shout out to everybody that's doing anything out there. We wish you well. You know what I'm saying? Keep up right. the good work. Under that, we just gonna continue to be us and do our own thing, moving and then working with the ones that I trust. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, because that extra shit. I don't know what them what folks got going on on their side, but I like I think it was a little too much. I know you were saying something about the little basketball. Yeah, like folks had went on, they started shooting that shit in folks in boxes and shit. So everybody seen it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, think, I, I think to me, my my opinion on that is is that people fight at basketball games, football games, baseball games, all that. Yeah. They just had a damn shooting in Washington D.C. You know, you, yeah, you can't so. you can't control that. You can't control nope. it. You know what I'm saying? Can't, can't, control. Can't, can't control it. You can't yes, control you it. Make, Just but, because you Southern Soul don't make you special. Yeah. Just because they call you this shit Southern Soul don't make you special shit. Southern Soul getting just like a rap guy. But, now, you, but know you know what, what though? The only problem I got with that is 
is the goddamn people mad at people that shared the goddamn video. You know, you can't be mad at nobody sharing nothing on their page. It That's happened. True. I, I can true. see if somebody want to alter the video. I can see they yeah. want to alter the video, but that was a real time event that happened. It just so happened it happened on ZBT's watch. It was ZBT's celebrity basketball game. You know, yeah. it, it just yeah. happened on their watch. So that's, all. But that's the problem I got with is that nobody want to take goddamn ownership. You know, when I look, I, I tell I tell people the story all the time. I had a damn knucklehead soldier go steal go steal a damn vehicle out post and, and drive a damn vehicle downtown to, to move his damn furniture in it. A damn military vehicle. So he got caught. The police caught him. So of course they went up the ladder to chain the command. And hell, I was Why in Waco. Sorry. But look, I was in Waco during the time, you know, with my family. So I received a phone call. They tell me that my knucklehead ass soldier was stole a vehicle to move his furniture downtown, a military vehicle. So they told me, that, hey, they said, they told me that, hey, even though you weren't directly responsible, overall responsible, that's your damn soldier. You know, so I could yeah. I could have easily said, no, I was in Waco with my family. I ain't have shit to do with that. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. He's still well, my but, soldier. He's still yeah, my but, soldier. But, spirit, a, and I had to deal with his dumb ass. Yeah. yeah go I'm, ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it to you like this, you know what I'm saying? We got you. Yeah, we hear you. you. No. We put it to you like this. Yeah, like you said, shit happened and it was on it was on their watch. Thing is, you know what I'm saying? If you really just look deeper to that shit, had that been me, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, like this right here. I'm just man, I ain't even know, I just look like that, but man, I bought no curve. I'm gonna put it to you like this, man. Shit like that happened, that that's that can get dangerous. Yeah. People that was at jeopardy. Cause you know what I'm telling you, I ain't. If you whoop me, you know what I'm saying, it's still gonna get ugly. Cause I don't take what losses. What I miss, man. What I miss. What I, don't, I miss. Friend? I don't take no losses. Well, well, they were talking about that ZBT uh T thing, that's but that thing could have really got problem. ugly. You know what I'm saying? People, people went out there to the cars yeah. from what I heard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, they went. I mean, they went but, to start. But they like went I to start going for guns. I, I, yeah. I went. I went in here. I went in here to went to the car. It would have been with me. Cause I know it would have been a couple of them in there that didn't like me no way. So See, I, that's I, what I'm I, saying. I, See, that's how I am. My mom always you know told saying? me, stay prepared. Stay prepared. Yeah. But See, that's what I'm saying. That's why we don't participate. I'm playing basketball with a 22 in my shoe. Okay, okay, yeah. you, okay you say you say it's people that don't like you. Nah, what? You ain't even been in this shit long. What beef you got with them? You get what I'm saying? You, know, you get what I'm saying? Because you a, I'm a, a, First off, I'm a rapper. Second right. off, I'm up on the search of people been trying to get with search off, but yeah, they just wonder how the fuck I just come out of nowhere. True. true. And third, mm-hmm. okay, yes. third, my, my, my I ain't bragging, man, but my swag a motherfucker. I don't blame some of them. I wouldn't like me the way them motherfuckers be dressing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Big but ass. It's just- now hold up, man. You had my damn shirt on one motherfucker time. Got that. you 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 ain't got the same type of shirt I had on, man. I'm gonna see yeah. you the picture too. Yeah, hey, I seen hey. it at Goodwill. I seen you had sent it to Goodwill, so I got it for eight dollars. Why not? <laughs> hey, yeah. And you know what? And you know what, Kev? Yeah. Uh, uh, shout out, to, shout out to Tasha Mack. She looked like she King's team from what I saw in the video, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She looked like she looked like she King's team. Yeah, she looked like she yeah. like she belonged over here. Let's <laughs> yeah. see. Let's see. Let's see. But see, uh, but see, we can we can get whimsical all we want to, you know. We we can say this shit in a joking manner, but you had kids yeah. out there, you had kids yeah. out there, you had grown ass goddamn people out there fighting. You know, like I said, yeah. you can't you can't stop people from fighting and acting a fool. But the bottom line is, I thought it was a travesty. I thought that uh, I thought ZBT should apologize uh, to not only to the superintendent, they should apologize to all those people there. That's just my take on it, you know, because when you have in the military, you know what I'm saying? You got to do damage control, man. You got to do damage control. You know, you got to do damage control. You know, you can't. I think I think they were more focused on people sharing the video than what actually happened. You know, yeah, they were. They were because you uh, yeah. you had so many different stories. Yeah. But it, but all in all, you know, man, being in this thing and then from the two individuals that I heard that was involved, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people look up to y'all out there, man. And now yeah. uh, after this, man, you know. Some of y'all got a bunch of fans already. Some of y'all can do without your fans now. I mean, if you got them yeah. all the way up. But uh, mm-hmm. and all in the long run, it's about to cost both of you. You know what I'm saying? Depends on how people looking at that situation. Cause yeah. uh, now, cause I didn't, I didn't got calls too. <laughs> and I know, I know people that <laughs> no, like no, no, Benito's song, Guatemala. They don't like. Post about that shit, man. 
Yeah. Big people posting about that shit. Mad about yeah. that shit, about a lot of stuff that went on there. I just don't speak on a lot of I, I see a lot, but I don't speak Maybe. on that. If my name ain't in it, yeah. I just cheat. Shout yeah, out to we... Uncle Benito, man. Shout out to Uncle Benito, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. even like, just like what I was saying about Benito. Somebody called me like, "Man, I like the Benito. Ain't that the one saying Guatemala?" No, my mama like his song. My yeah. mama, my mama like his song Guatemala. Yeah, and uh, um, I, I just but a guy you, called me. They yeah. called me. They said, "Huh?" Yeah. Go ahead, Fred. Go ahead. They called me. They were like, "Man, we like the Benito, man. What, why his night coming up and that shit?" Cause but they were telling people this way that Benito bought some folks and started this shit. Said it. Say no, a guy already. No, man, that's already. No, that's, that's what they. I'm telling you. That's what they told me. But see, but see that, that's that's a misinformation. That's a goddamn. Lie. Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. You, that's why I'm get bring, into it. If you bring somebody to an event, if you bring somebody to an event, and you don't play yeah. for 30 minutes, you know there's no malice there. There's no malice. The, pe the people that I know, if they want to come to an event. It's gonna pop off soon. They walk in the door. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so that's what I'm saying. Nobody wants to take freaking ownership. You know that's true. It, it happened. You know, people they were pushing, shoving. You playing a basketball game, whether it be football, baseball. When you're dealing with people, man, in close proximity, then uh -huh. like I said, stuff like that can happen. But yeah. I, look, I wrote this down: seven tips to damage control. Uh, and, and and I hope if you're a business owner, you need to listen to this. Seven tips. First of all, you got to respond ASAP. That's number one. You have to respond to that. Uh, you have to respond respectively. You have to respond to that. Number two, don't get defensive. You can't get defensive. Not when mm. not if K if K Young production got a show and somebody not acting a damn fool, and K Young wasn't directly involved, but I'm overall responsible, then I'm gonna respond to it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna apologize what happened, blah, 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 and we're gonna go forward. Then I'm gonna find out what happened and who and, 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 and the people that screwed up my show, then they're gonna be dealt with. The police gonna come get their ass. Well, matter of fact, the police gonna already be there. Number three, you gotta you gotta evaluate the situation, reevaluate. You got to yeah. go back and, and, and get all the evidence and see exactly what happened, you know. And number four, you know, you can't, um, you can't, you can't just, uh, uh, you, you, you have to designate a, a spokesperson. You have to designate someone who has oratorial ability, you know, and style of elocution. That means they can speak well. You have to do that, man. This is, a, this is what we're talking about business. You have to do that. Then number two, you got to, you know, be proactive. You know, be proactive. Yeah. Let your fans know what's going on, whatever. You have to do that, man, when you when it comes to business. And then, like I said, you have to own it. You have to own up to it, man. If if, if somebody fight a K Young production show, then it's it's on my watch. You know, that's they teach us that in the military, man. You can't pick and choose, you know, what 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 the good and the bad. No, all that come together. The good, bad, and the ugly. All that come together. And yeah, like I said, you have to keep the communication open. You know, you can't. Be focused on people uh, posting a damn video that that the bystanders had. What well, live wake up that the bystanders didn't have nothing to do. Oh, well, the only thing the bystanders did was filmed it. And then I heard I hear uh, the CEO, Mr. Misha, said, "If you share the the video, you just as worse as the people fighting." I vehemently disagree with that. Why would yeah. you say something like that? That don't make no hey, sense. Uh Hell, if I got to fight, if I got to fight here, a motherfucker gonna goddamn record my motherfucking ass and send me all over the goddamn yeah, land of country. But, but, so you know, shit, they that, can't be. Is, what they need to understand is this right here. You know, everybody know that ZBT was not out there fighting. Everybody know that. Everybody yeah, saw the video. Yeah. Everybody saw the right. video. But VB, ZBT is overall responsible, not directly responsible, but you are overall responsible and you have to take ownership. That's why the shit still got legs. The shit still got legs. You got. People threatening people. You got people telling people to take stuff down. You got people calling people attacking all that. Man, y'all leave that alone, man. This shit happened. It's over with. You have to take ownership. That's all. I mean, yeah. that's it. It's my over. Thing, my whole over. thing. My yeah. whole thing with that. Um, my whole thing, Uncle Kev. Yeah. Was that it was kids there. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. thinking about the man. What if somebody would have made a mistake and hit one of them kids or something? Yeah. Man? Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. Was, it, was, it, was, it was gonna get deeper than these grown people fight. Cause now a child involved. You heard a child. Yeah. You don't know how that parent gonna respond, man. Yeah. You can't get mad at how they do respond. You know. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, we got we got kicked out of the whole rodeo and we wasn't doing nothing but music. I heard there were kids out there and they got the brawling three times. No, y'all so was they ain't give a fuck. No. Y'all got kicked out because y'all was twerking and stuff. And them yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, but hey, they they, they like hey, we, we were dancing, yeah, but they yeah, like yeah, it. But, right. but I'm saying, I'm saying, I heard with kids being out there, they still, uh, from my understanding, <laughs> got the brawling three times. So they let yeah. you know right then 
Really, nobody give a fuck about yeah. nothing at that motherfucker. That, 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 that goddamn brother Hubbard get all the way to the floor on grass, nigga. That nigga have grass paint. Grass paint on yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Look, Jerry Carroll bought me. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> want that at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, but that's that, 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 hey, that's the thing about it, though, to put on the show now. What's yeah, ZBT man, at? What's yeah, ZBT man, at? Man, I, I'll say this, Kev. I no. say, I say, if ZBT I ain't never put on the show before, shit, they did then when that motherfucking uh, live came out. Cause I watched. <laughs> I like, I like, who the hell is that? They like, that's Tasha Mack. I said, who, <laughs> who is that that fell on the bleachers? They said that's Benito. I ain't know who the fuck was who. See, I'm saying. Damn, damn. I mean, I mean, it's, 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 like I said, you know, when, when when stuff happened in real time and people video, <laughs> people video all kind of dumb ass shit on Facebook. They 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 they, they video people talking about beat people up. They video people yeah. talking about people hating on them. They video yeah. all this kind of bullshit. And they agree with that, but mm. as soon as somebody fighting at, at an event that you had absolutely no control over, I mean, ZBT didn't have no control over that. They didn't mm-hmm. have no control over that because no, now they did. Now if I no, saw Tamisha or Calvin out there fighting, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, you're as directly yeah. responsible as well as overall. But that didn't happen. Yeah. So now, that's I what I'm saying, saying, man. Now, can I ask y'all so we are the record with it, right? Yeah. Right. Well, how, how did this shit start? I just seen folks fighting. I don't know how this shit started. What what, what, well, what, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reserve comment until one of the people one of the people say they're gonna come on the show and they're gonna explain exactly okay. what happened. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because so, I, I don't either. I don't know. Yeah, I see the film, man. Yeah, we gonna be a big family. Man. How did yeah. this shit go from being a family, a southern soul family, to a southern soul brawl? Yeah. Exactly, well, man. Well, 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 you gotta look at it like this right here. You know, first of all, you know, you always hear people talking about somebody hating on them. I don't know what the fuck they keep saying somebody hating on them for. Y'all excuse my language, that that irritates me when people say that stupid ass shit that somebody hating on them. What the fuck they hating on? That's number one. What are they hating on? Okay, right. so, when you got, so when you got people with that mentality, since somebody hating on them, somebody jealous of them, you know, then they tell other people not to talk to nobody and all that shit. Then you put all of them in the gym together. You put all of them together. They ain't speaking. They ain't speaking. So you, you get them in the gym. You file somebody too hard or you push somebody, you step on somebody's toe. That's going to be reason for somebody to hit you in your mouth. You know, yeah. all you do is give somebody an excuse. So you're that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, that's well, what well, you know. They need to have summits. They need to have summits. Well, people can sit around at the round table and stop all this bullshit about well, uh, news I heard you don't like me, or well, Kevin said this, or Lies said this. Man, get off, get off a, a grown man phone with that old bullshit. Talking about somebody said something about you. Because if they said it, what the fuck you gonna do about it? Yeah, what you nigga, gonna do? And, and, and if they send a message to you, they, they they talking about you too, nigga. The same dog carried that ball to goddamn get one, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah I, I, but see, it, but see, what, what pisses me off, man, is that you know you got a lot of good artists in Southern Soul. You got a lot yeah. of good artists, man. I mean, man, you got a lot of great artists. A lot of them. That I'm telling you, yeah. talk about all the time, man. But you all, you have, you have them, you have them few apples. It, it ain't that many people that start shit in Southern Soul all the time. It ain't right. that many of them. You got a handful of them, and 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 and, and, and the name is always in some all the time. See, they get mad at K Young because K Young tell the truth. You can't get mad at K Young because K Young came over here and called you out your name, talked about your mama, tried to talk to your wife, none of that. You can't get mad at K Young for none of that. But if you sit up here and you tell me you done won 19 awards, and I'm going to question, okay, what, why the hell you win 19 awards every year and you mad, then that's your goddamn problem. It ain't mine. That's your problem. That's your problem because somebody, somebody need to question that. Somebody need to question, you know, why you win so many awards or, or why this person wasn't nominated or, you know, why, why are you doing – people need to question that. They need to question that, you know, yeah. instead of being monolithic. Black folks are monolithic. They all want, they want you to think the same way. As soon as you don't, what would have happened if, if, if Martin Luther King would would have said, "Okay, well, that's fine. It's just that's just the way it's supposed to be. We ain't supposed to sit at them white folks' count." What would have happened? Y'all ask still to be slaves right now? Or what would happen if Malcolm X would have said, "Nigga, you put your hand on me, it's gonna be on." You know, so sometimes, man, you gotta put up some resistance for nonsense. You you can't mm-hmm. you can't just go along to get along, man. You can't do yeah. it. Yeah. So, you know, because the truth causes conflict. It causes conflict, man, with black people. Just with black people, it costs truth. Because the first thing they'll say, if you go to Walmart right now and you bought a watermelon and the motherfucker went right, you took it back, and you went there and said, I want my money back, this is bullshit. You ain't gonna say, well, you trying to destroy Walmart. You ain't gonna say that. You're not gonna say that. If you you come to my show. That's some valid shit you just said. And look, you come to my show, you come to my show, you buy a VIP ticket, 
and you get uh, a general admission, you complain about it. Black folks say, you, know, you get on Facebook and say, I ain't never going to K. Young because I bought a VIP. He gave me general admission. First thing they want to say, man, why are you trying to destroy that black man business? You did a disservice. What the hell are you mad about? You yeah. should have honored what your ass said you're going to do when you take some goddamn body's money. Right. Yeah. This is the bottom line. So, yeah. so they can miss me with all that. People trying to tear people down because you question, you question people's motives. You question their actions. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, man. You know, and like I said, I don't want to be around nobody that's gonna go along to get along. I don't want to be yeah. around nobody like that. Cause all my that friends was... like me. You ain't gonna just tell mm -hmm. my friend no, no, you just tell them now, they're gonna ask you some questions about it. You just can't now, say two this. People, two, two people, two people yeah. I can't stand in this southern soul, and then I'm just gonna say that it's ass kisses and fake people, man. You don't got yeah. to, ain't none of ain't none of better than that person. Ain't none of them made it, man. Ain't yeah. none of that, ain't none of no surcharge, no poke bell. No, none of that. Now, man, really now with them all the, them higher people, man. We regular people, man. So quit acting like you been to get it. You know we what I'm saying? Get get it, get it. It's so many southern soul people around here, man, that ain't getting shows, ain't getting booked, and they talented as fuck, but they keep booking the same people Mother every week. That shit don't and, make no sense. And that and that's why I can't same people every goddamn week. So and hard, that's why. That's why Kevin, you starting to see some Kevin Young. Uh, uh, I mean, you starting to see some some King Fred, Brother Hubbard, Mister Lie, uh, Sugar yeah. Dad. Just some, just some other cats that got potential out here that ain't nobody ain't working these for like that. Like this, for instance, even if I had to went to ZBT award, everybody know how I don't mean me and Trucker do not see eye to eye. But at the same motherfucker time, we could have still went and played a goddamn ball game. You know, ball man. game. Even yeah. if, even if, I mean, you know, I ain't go help. We may have to meet up one day. He got, he may be DJ and he's saying for hire me to we may have to work together. I still don't say out of eye with some of the motherfucking taxes, but I still got to learn to work the guy because he's in this shit. Hey, you hey, know hey, what I'm saying? Hey, he around, hey, you know what I mean? Money over bullshit. Get your yeah. Put that yeah, person money, to the money, side money over the bullshit, but these person these person of beef they got going mm -hmm. on, that that shit could have got really, really, really ugly. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Because it's like this for me. If that you know, like I, I figure like uh Jeta Jones, like Tasha Max supposed to be his sister. Now, even with my newbie and queen, they did the same for me. But I'm just telling you how dirty it'll get. Cause a motherfucker turn around and hit my motherfucking sister, one of my queens. I'm getting to my trunk and ain't no motherfucker gonna stop me. See, shit getting real ugly, gonna get ugly fast too, goddamn it. Cause I don't I ain't with none of that. So all that shit they talking about why put why post this and why post that fuck that shit motherfuckers don't do that shit regardless you can't you know stop it's, a, it's, it's expected because I got some sisters that'll fight too so I'm yeah. in a the fight they gonna help me fight too yeah yeah I'm saying this I'm <laughs> fight but I understand I understand we gonna be fight yeah but I understand the muscles got that swing at me and somebody hit her ass and she just got hit you know what I'm saying yeah, if I can't up get there. Yeah, I'm just saying, but that, that's just the nature of the beast, man. So yeah. people, talk about, people talk about why somebody hit a woman. If if you in a, if you uh, fight, uh, look, look, y'all done got in plenty of fights. I done got in plenty of fights. So when you out there swinging, adrenaline flowing, and somebody hitting you, you don't know who it is. You gonna start swinging too. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. that's just it's just the nature of the beast, man. You know, so my, mom, my, mama, my mama told me if a motherfucker hit you, nigga, female, cat, dog, hit they ass back. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there's no man that will go up to a woman and just punch a woman in the face. Hell yeah, no. Nah. If, he, if he do, he a coward, bro. Yeah, he a coward. Nah, I, I would say that. I ain't no, I ain't no motherfucker do that now. Nah. Yeah, I would mm. say that. I would say that. Mm. But, you know, like I said, when, when, when you in the thick of just fighting, you know what I'm saying, everybody swinging, you don't know. You don't know if, you, if somebody hitting you in the back of your damn head, you don't know who it is. You just going to turn around and start swinging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's behind me? Get the hand knocked out. Because you shouldn't be behind me. My thing about the cab is this. My thing about this, and I'm going to try to sum it up. Any goddamn body gonna help they motherfucking family. Yeah. yeah. Anybody. Yeah. But just know when you go in that motherfucking fight, there's another fight on the other side of your fight. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh, that's they don't want they, they don't want Lonnie up. They don't want now, Lonnie up. Now Lonnie ain't woke yet, cause Lonnie cuss. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying. 
the fight is the fight. Yeah. Because you're going to help you. Their sister going to help you. She going to scratch, bite, she better. Yeah. But the thing is, don't say why you hitting a woman when you done went in that motherfucking fight now. Yeah, I'm just saying. You in that fight now. Now, yeah. don't get me wrong. Any sister would have did the same thing Tasha Mac did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got but, some but, sisters but, that fight your ass, too. If I'm fighting, yeah. my sister's going to be fighting, too. But she I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. She had to do what she had to do. But look like to me though, only only thing I ain't had no respect for him because he had ample amount of time to aim towards where yeah, boy, all them niggas were. He turned around and head towards them some 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 females. That's why that little part I seen. I that's the only part I don't respect. Yeah, she gonna be out there to help her brother. But this a woman. Nigga, run on over there with them with them dudes over in that crowd where they what was over there brawling it. But what if she would have had a knife though, Fred? True. Yeah. What if she had a knife or free? We, 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 we can all speculate because we know a yeah. fight that ha uh, happened at the drop of a dime right now. Yeah. 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 A fight right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe may, maybe that was his intent. You know what I'm saying? You just never know because we wasn't there. You never know. But, but I only saw, I saw I saw the video. I saw everybody out there fighting. I thought it was a disservice. I thought them kids out there, you know, everybody was out there cussing and stuff and, and kids yeah. were there and stuff. You know, yeah, well, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a good look. No, it wasn't a good look at all. Not nah, damn it. I, yeah, uh, Tamisha might need to make some pop. Maybe she feels she don't need to, but maybe she just do just to ease some of the other people because y'all saying the same thing. Everybody else, people in my empire with different information, which in fact, I really, when I asked about it, I ain't really know what happened. They told me one time I was just done with it, but they studied st stuff, study coming about it. Stuff, study come. Got to nip it in the bud somewhere. And I figured all the person that can nip it in the bud is to me. She might as yeah. well, you well, know, uh, face something. It's going to take, it, it, it gonna take for a big person to nip that shit in the bud. Because, you know, yeah. like, motherfucker, ego too big, bro. Ain't nobody wrong. Everybody want to be seen on social media. A lot of these motherfuckers got so many amen people in their corner that just keep boosting them up. Like, yeah, I totally agree with you. you everything you say, motherfucker, they can be wrong too. How the yeah. fuck every time a nigga make a post or a female, that bitch right? Yeah. It ain't right. That's true. That's true. I agree. Oh, man. Yeah. I agree. Ain't nobody because... perfect. If a motherfucker posts everything right, why in the fuck this motherfucker ain't no billionaire? If they know yeah. so much, if they so perfect. Motherfucker yeah. be wrong. I be wrong. Fred be wrong. Lie yeah. be wrong. Yeah. Hey, y'all be yeah. right yeah. up perfect. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. a real motherfucker to tell you that, and when a motherfucker put you off on your wrong, you can't accept it. Yeah, yeah. Love yeah. and construct the criticism, man. Ain't no, a real friend gonna tell you when you're wrong. I told one of my partners. Oh yeah. I told oh, one yeah. of my partners <laughs> we got there do music together about some shit he did. He don't like. I'm a hater now, or 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 I ain't agreeing with him because he put me on game now, bro. If we a family in a circle, we don't talk about each other, and I can't condone that fake shit. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm wrong for speaking how I feel. That's just how I feel. I feel don't don't talk about our people. You gonna be around our people. Stay the yeah. fuck around all this. Because you talking right. about you know, my, to me, I know you talking about me to the next motherfucker. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm Look. wrong. I'm wrong. Look. And, 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 and against them now, I just ain't no ass kiss name in the group with everything you say, nigga. Now, them, real, them real was going to call you, new. Like, I had did a live. I was over in Gainesville, Georgia, working. I don't know. Me and my queen got to about something. So I went around the subject a little bit. But I was, she was catching the brunt end of the stick. Man, how about Vanessa Spence Kane got called me and got dead on my motherfucking ass. Made me take that motherfucker down. Oh, yeah, see, them true, don't play. Them true uh, queens uh, right there. See, play, see they, when you with the play, shit, boy. they yeah, they check on your ass. For real. You got them out here for like if the ones I want to deal with in Southern Soul, I just like real, you know what I'm saying? I ain't with that extra shit. Fuck that. I don't give a fuck what they doing over there. We gonna do what we do over here and keep it motherfucking pushing. As a matter of fact, just let me know when you're ready for me to show up and clean with the band, man. We come. Mm -hmm. Shit, okay. fuck it. I got yeah. a whole bunch of motherfuckers want us to come to Texas. Mm -hmm. Let's change. Let's change something. Let's talk about. Do y'all write your own music? All mm -hmm. of it, except all one. Love. All of it. That's why we the gold mouth dogs and Southern Soul. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Omar, Omar, Omar taught me something. He wrote one. So he wrote uh, put put you to sleep, and I got him on. He gonna do another one for me sooner or later. Put that put you to sleep on me. Took me back. I felt like I was working on my first album. Now, mind you, when I when I was coming up, I was in uh, I was in drill court when I was over there in Jackson. Now he got caught up about ten pounds of marijuana at Jackson State University. So Lee, uh, uh, George Jackson wrote last two dollars at Malico. That's how I got off into Malico and, and was running into Willie Clayton them over there. But uh, George Jackson and there was a guy named Harrison Cal Calloway. 
as the Cal Calloway did my first album. So I wrote all that. I wrote every, everything that I ever done. We write all our music. Anybody that work with me, when they do a song, we, we teach them how to write. We make them write their verse, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And so, and, and then Omar put that picture to sleep on me. He took me back to a style that I had years and years ago, man. Just took me back to kind of feel comfortably in the pocket. Went up and I like, all right, Omar, I'm ready to record. And now he's like, no, nah, it's done. He tricked me. Oh, yeah. And, he on my new album, man. Shout out to Omar, man. He, he did a hook for me, man. That more so raw, but call that. Girl. Oh, yeah. That, that oh yeah, he a goat for real. He a goat. For real. Oh, he the goat. Oh yeah, he the goat. See, yeah. he took he took uh, he, he did a lot of stuff for me too. He was like Fred, man. Y'all got to put more background in them songs. I was like, what you talking about? The I goat like shit. I'ma show you. Oh, I knew you when I first joined the Southern Soul. I used to come out and see you going live, out going out. Like, yeah, here, man. This nigga do something. Yeah, that nigga went off on yeah. your no, said, man. man. I said, man, first, I said, man, the goddamn gold in my hand, nigga, do something. So, he don't hear talking. Yeah, we in it. Hey, 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 h
Yeah. yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, well, so, 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 do y'all work with certain producers, man? Uh, y'all. Y'all kind of, uh, I know you said you work with Omar, right, King Prayer? Well, yeah, yeah, Omar, Omar, the, uh, the music I do with Omar is the songs that he writes for me and stuff. But I got several producers I use. Donovan, uh, Donovan Scott out of Jackson, Mississippi. Damon Strada out of Natch. Tony T. Tony O'Turner. Uh, bigger music group over there in Macomb, Mississippi. And uh, Ron G. Suggs right here in Mobile. There's another guy over here named Shuby. I'm going to be checking out. He the one did some stuff for uh, Cordell Campbell. He did that cake son for Corbidale Comics. So I'm gonna be hollering at him real soon too. He waiting on me to head that way. Other than that, you know, I just keep it going. I just love doing music, you know what I'm saying? I do it with a pad trying to deliver my message and get out there. It ain't more mm -hmm. see with me, Kevin, I don't get no fuck about being on a whole bunch of flies. None of that shit. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. never have. It's all about getting to the next step for me, whether we go on, you know, we get into a little film doing some of this, these short stories and stuff they be doing on uh, YouTube and stuff. So I'm merging that route too, along with my uh, with my music shit, because that's what we are. We really, me, I consider myself as entertainer. You know what I'm saying? We consider ourselves entertainer. Uh, some people say soul blue. Some people say sun soul blue. It don't matter. We just coming to deliver the message and get these folks what they paid for. So I ain't coming mm -hmm. ass stepping, goddamn. Like I said, we show up. We show up. They can throw me out there first. Crowd can be looking at me crazy like they don't know who the fuck I am. You might not know them, but I bet you done heard of them. But I'm coming mm -hmm. out there to get you. You can sit down in that chair if you want to. I'm sorry, partner. But let me borrow your wife for a minute. We're about to get this show started. What about That's you? That's where we getting down. What about you? You work for different producers? Yeah, man. I keep it. I keep it basic, man. I got like four, five, man. Shout out to my um, Air Rub Miles, the new sound of Southern Soul, uh, Sir Charles, Mickey Gunn, my boy York Hessner, Market Yates. I keep it pretty much in house, man. I don't rock with too many, man. But you know, I'm open. You know what I'm saying? It just that just my circle who I just kick it with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm open to whoever though. You know, if I hear a beat, I like it. Yeah, I buy it. So, yeah, but see, I ain't even done. I ain't done, Kevin. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make my round of trial like beef flippers, hey, flex, hey, tracks, I need, I need, all I need those cats stuff. Bread. I need you to have uh -huh. my boy though, Elroy Miles, bro. He got some shit. For yeah, you. I holler at Elroy <laughs> too and see what he got. Out, yeah, I Me check it out. Me and New got one coming. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They ain't ready for that. Up. We're gonna cut up. That, hey, I'm that ain't spoke. Flip phone out on that video. <laughs> hey, hey, that ain't supposed to be ready for them two legs and two thighs, but you over there lacking. You ain't all getting no breaks. I've been waiting on you. Uh, hey, hey, do you have any questions? Y'all yeah. got any questions? Y'all can put them in the chat. Uh, I, I'll ask some all questions. Right, all right. Y'all got some questions for uh, King Fred and News Williams. Uh, hey, hey, somebody said if they pay $100 in VIP, they expect you to put on a hell of a show. They would want to lay my Marcia Harris said that. My, see, who's she talking to me? Huh? Anybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, look, look. Put tell Marcia. Hey, hey, Marcia, if you out there, I'm just letting you know line. If you don't come out that VIP, we'll come up in there and get you. That's all I'm we're going to say. That's all I got to tell you. I'm going to go TV. get you. You pay $100 for I'm me. coming I'm to get you. Chip in there with that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm telling okay. you. We, 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 we okay. sliding. You know what I mean? Chip yeah. Fred, Fred, they said, they said, what female artist you want to work with? Man, Tawana that's quite Murphy. A... Murphy asked you that. I can work with Tawana. I like to do something with uh, 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 Nelly, but I'm gonna tell you two of them that I really, really would like to get to. I like, I like to marry them, and also, but the ones I need to get to first is like Crystal Thomas. That's mm -hmm. my top, and Laquita uh, Stevenson. Them two right there, Lady Crew. Lady those Q. two right, those two Lady right Q there. Lady wrong, boy. Like Lady Crew, yeah, yeah. Hey, a lot of folks lacking on Crystal Thomas too. She got that boss for your ass. A lot got of folks on these females, period. They are. So, and Dee Dee, Dee Dee. I do one with Dee Dee. It's a, it's a, man. It's quite a few female artists out here, and quite a few of them got some good songs. They got some real good songs. They sound good with, it, but yeah, what but about, the uh, what about male? Yeah. What about male artists? Who? Male, male artists. Uh, news. Who you want to work with? Then you, Fred. News. You said male artist? Yeah. Lonnie Juke John Jones. Lonnie Juke John Jones? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> hey, see, I, don't, I don't work with so many, man, but on, on some real shit, you know, I want to work with King Fred. I mean, like what I see with him. Uh, yeah. LJ Elkos, uh I don't pretty much work with everybody, but Big Benito, man, Big Benito finna do something, you know what I'm saying? Shine mm. down. Uh, yeah. Man, it, 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 it ain't too many. I don't work with so much of everybody, man. So shit, you work with, you work with Tucker. You want to work with Tucker yet? 
Yeah, well, well, Tucker been on Tucker been on my ass talking about he waiting. I told Tucker to give me a minute. Now, now the guy that got the track for us is Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly been bullshitting. I'm waiting on that. That's the one. That's the perfect one for me and Tucker. I work with Tucker. I work with a uh, new. I work with any artist. You know, my in the mud artists. They the affiliates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, we ain't them top tier uh, one, two, three level. We just out the mud. The ones been stumped on, spit on, talked about. They don't like you. So, so my in the mud artists. I know this. I got a bunch of in the mud artists come get dead on your ass when we hit that stage, though. We Shout gonna hit that stage and turn up. Yeah. Stay tuned, y'all. Yeah, yeah, put, soul, and Kevin, the way. And yeah. Kevin, another one. Kevin, another one. I respect. I respect his grind. Kevin, they reached out to me a while back with checking on me, man, because I had I was wilding on the air for a minute, man, because I seen so much <laughs> bullshit in Southern Soul. I just said, "Fuck this." I'm finna say what I got to goddamn say. So enough of this shit. Fuck it, my nigga. like me, no way. Well, you so have it to is, be, what it is. You have to be whether it's Southern Soul, whether it's rock, whether it's the military, whether it's damn AT and T, Walmart. You know, if you're a man or a woman, you, you, you have to stand on principle. You know, you, you have to have integrity. And yeah. like I tell people all the time, I'd rather be known as a truth teller that has integrity than be known as a pathological liar. Exactly, you know? man. Yeah. And, hey, and in this hey, they call. Man, you cannot turn your back on them people who helped you, man. Somebody helped you in something so, man. Yeah. yeah. And your name start getting big. Keep, keep hollering at them people. Don't stop answering them people calls and messages because now that bigger people mess with you, man, them bigger people gonna forget about you sooner. Somebody else get just hot as you, and those same people you saying fuck will be the same people you gonna need, bro. Hey, look, now you right, and look, Kim, they they were calling you the Dun King or something. So they said you start the <laughs> they said you start a boxing match. But hey, hey, but I, that's what they were saying about uh, Kim. But I I just never seen that. You know, some people yeah. were telling me don't fuck with Kim. But when I started talking to him, I just got to know you for who you were. I ain't seen nothing wrong with, with, with a lot. I mean, I ain't see shit. But I'm going to tell you this. Shout out to them Southern Soul uh, DJ with a Z2 and them damn uh, 901 Deep. They've been in my corner since day one, God damn it. For motherfuckers, they yeah. really, really knew who I was, was you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, let me, uh, and, the, and the bad girls. Let me tell y'all something, man. And let me tell the audience something, man. Tonight, we get a bad rap with this show, man. Talking about we, we messy or we, we on we only thing we're about is trying to bring somebody on and to try to explore them or whatever. Let me tell y'all, nah. listen, let me talk, let me talk, let me get this out. Nah. Let me tell y'all something, man. People learn from this, from this show, man. People come on this show to tell a story, yeah. We don't have an underlying vendetta on these artists, man. I know both of these guys personally. I done talked on the phone with them and other artists that have been on here. We don't do that, man. Uh -huh. I'm just telling y'all, we don't do that. If you getting rumors by, by off the you I ain't coming on off the because it's messy. This proves that it ain't messy, man. Well, let me say I'm this. Say this. If anybody that, that tuned into this got a problem with me or what I say, you can inbox me and we can go from there. We can talk it out or however you want to do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't here to hate on nobody or talk about right. nobody. No. I'm just speaking yeah. the truth yeah. on how I feel. Everybody entitled to their opinion at this mind. If that's you don't right. like it, that's, that's right. your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Just and if you feel that, like that if anybody feel hit on what I said on here, Inbox me and we can go from there. Simple as that. Yeah. Okay, ain't that I think if, I, I I think if a person come on here, man, uh, and don't want that 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 come on here and don't want to come on here, it's almost like, I mean, you ain't got nothing to hide what you mean. I, I mean, how can a person be messing with you? Yeah. You can be a man yourself. Certain questions you ain't gotta ask, answer. You know what I'm saying? You right. just tell them pass right. on that one. But Look, but my thing. This, this is why I say about my show off the way. Right? My show is very informative. So just like I asked News Williams yeah. about his issue about you know his uh, his charge he had, that's yeah. that, that that is information that's available. You can look it up. Public. Just like just, that's public information. Just like I asked Calvin. Now who's bigger than Calvin and him and Tucker neck and neck? Calvin come on here. Tucker's gonna come on here. But see the problem yeah. is if you have an issue or you doing shit you know underhanded and stuff, and I hear about it, I'm gonna ask you about it. Hey, is it true that you did this? If you're not doing nothing. Then that's nothing I can ask you. So 
that see black folks don't want people to like 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 for instance like King South. Now I talk to King South all the time. Good brother. Yeah. Great brother. Talk to him all the time. Very talented. Home team. Home team. So, big, but, big but, but, but King South was conflicted because he was told by and it's on his live. He was told by Jeter Jones, don't come on the show because Kevin's gonna use that to get at him. I'm like, okay, first of all, my show ain't about no particular artist, it's about people that's on my show. Mm. It's about people on my show. Now, if you was part of, if you was part of JBE, I'm gonna ask you, were you part of JBE? Were you part of this? If if you're not, then we're gonna move on to the next question. But you, but you have people out here that that call people, you know, and like I said, he won't lie about it. people calling his phone, thinking that K Young is and Mr. Live gonna use this platform to talk about the fight and all those stuff. King King South and King Fred agreed to come on this show Thursday. The fight happened Sunday, so they had already agreed to come on here. So when I when I do my pre interview, right, and you and y'all can ask King South. There was not one question I asked him about Gita Jones. Not one. Because King South is coming on the show, not Gita Jones. It's King Gita South. South. So, so, so I'm focused. I'm focused. On, and, and look, I'm going to tell y'all this right here. King South got a hell of a background. Yeah. He got. That's why I was excited for him to come on here. My, it, my crib, see, bro. You see, a lot of folks don't know a lot about King South. I talked to their brother about an hour on the phone two days ago. You know, because like I said, like I talked to news, like I talked to Fred. I'll talk to you before you come on my show because I want to know what type of questions to ask. I had specific questions about him because I think y'all didn't know what his background is. You know, he's a hell of a, of a, of a performer. He's a hell of a singer. And he and, and he's coming up. He's coming hey, up. Believe so, it or not, oh, he's a hell of a rapper. Yeah, yeah, he told me. But, but, he <laughs> yeah. told me, but see, like yeah, I told Yeah, he's a rapper. We'll, 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 we'll revisit him coming on at a later date. You know, because, yeah. because yeah. Pe people were so afraid that my main focus was to talk about Jeter Jones and JD no. and ZBT. No, no, I don't never focus on, on none of that nonsense. And I don't Here's respond the... and I don't respond to a lot of nonsense. So these people go live and say stuff about me. Like I say, I don't respond to nonsense. I'm not gonna respond to no nonsense. Because I tell the truth. If you don't like the truth, then you always have a problem with me. I, I'm not I'm not monolithic. I'm not going along with your bullshit. I'm not going along with it. I'm a, a true friend gonna tell you <clears throat> news William. Why are you beefing with live? What, what the hell is going on with y'all? Mm -hmm. Y'all need to talk. Right. Fred, why, why are you beefing with news, man? Hey, y'all need to squash that, man. It ain't that mm -hmm. serious. See, that's true, friend. Instead of people jumping on the bandwagon, but well, you know what? I don't like live either. I don't like news either. You know, them a bandwagon. They don't know what the fuck is going on. It could be something as simple. And, and a lot of times, <laughs> and look, 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 but look, a lot of times, it'd be, it be over broad. It'd be over females in this southern soul that these Negroes be be mad about it. Yeah. Me. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you, and look, yep. this is off the yep. record. And look, read my lips. I don't want none of it, none of y'all women. I got a queen in there. I don't want none That's of right. them. That's right. That's right. Y'all gonna have all of them. So they can have all of them. Yeah, I'm just saying y'all gonna have all of them. So a lot of them be beefing about these females and stuff, man. A lot of them be beefing about who people talk to. When you talk to a man and you know I don't get along with lie. So what grown man gonna tell news Damn, with you? Man, I, I don't get I don't get along with K Young, so why you talking to him? I mean, man, you better get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit. Bro, That'd be my response. Man, your problem and his problem man. ain't my problem. Exactly. And then, but then with all, now then with all, like, when certain motherfuckers get on here and say something, and you know they throwing shots at somebody, and all these bandwagon motherfuckers, you right, fuck them. It's all about that team, this team, that. And this person probably ain't being shit to you. You don't like this person that comes somebody you rock with, and they got a quote-unquote big name. Exactly. Name. You, 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 you bandwagon them. You know what I'm saying? Ass kiss. Mm -hmm. I don't do none of that, man. I don't man, I, 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 and I, 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 one thing about that same nigga that got a big name in this music game or whatever, my name might be big on the street. I I'm gonna put it to you like you that. The, I'm I, like I, to say I, you I, on the street at a concert while you got these thousand fans online backing you, but ain't none of these motherfuckers that didn't show but news and these four fives and these nines. Yeah, that would have been. Look, I'm gonna tell you, tell you like this right here. And Southern Soul, I only listen to the ones that always been supporting and buying my goddamn music and coming to these shows. The bandwagons, man, a lot of them bandwagon uh, people out there, man, they ain't bought a song from no goddamn body. I ain't went to a show. I ain't went to a show. The show next door. I ain't been to a show. The show next door to the ass. They had plenty of time to pass. Still on show up. And I, I don't rock with a lot, of from, a lot of the nigga that I rock with when I first started. You don't see me with them niggas now. 
You don't nah. see them, them niggas don't like post no more. Them niggas don't do nothing. Cause I get they figure I needed them. Man, I'm a yeah. hustler, man. I don't need nothing but God. Yeah. yeah. If I got God, I can handle the rest. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The thing thank, is, you, thank you, Lillian. Lillian Wallace said, I've been told not to watch this podcast, and I still tune in because. Damn. She said, because I like it. No one can stop me from tuning in because they don't like it. Keep doing Queen what Lillian. Hey, thank Lillian. You. Thank, thank you, Lily Wallen. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. You, what are we doing? Right. What are we training? Diddy, Diddy, we taking that's questions bullshit. now. What is your question, Diddy Simon? Come on, come on with the question. Come on, Diddy. Ah, oh, shit. What here comes Diddy. Ain't nobody doing no freestyle on here. She's going to lose to do a freestyle. We're not doing no freestyle. Come on, Diddy, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Ver Veronica said she never heard me that said the F-bomb. <laughs> Veronica, sometimes these people just piss me off sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but, see, but see, I'm built for it. I got all day for it. You know, I, I got time every day. I don't have nothing else to do. But it's just, my brother it's, took his medicine, y'all. He took Yeah, his yeah. But, but see, the thing is, like I said, you got a lot of talent in Southern Soul, man. I'm telling you, yeah, all, all you got to do is don't nobody have to hate on nobody because they kill themselves. All you got to do is watch their lives. Just go, just go on their lives and just watch their lives and watch the dumb ass shit they be saying and doing. You know, for, for yeah. likes and giggles and all this other stuff. You know, to me, you know, all these people in Southern Soul, at least 35 and up, I think Fat Daddy may be 32, 33, J1, they're young. But everybody's 30 and up. So I think that I'm I'm not I'm not gonna get on here and and, and, uh, and, and to me, if you're gonna be a clown, won't you dress like one? Won't you put the paint on, the red nose and the shoes? Won't you just do all that? If you're just gonna be a clown. But that, that there's nothing wrong with having an honest discussion about what's going on. In Southern Soul. Now, people want me to come on here and talk about personal vendettas with people. No, that's not my privy. That's not my lane. I'm not gonna come on here and talk about uh some stuff going on. Now, that that fight and stuff, that's Southern Soul news. That's news. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. People. That's news right there. But I'm not gonna talk about it, it live and, and King Fred has some words on the telephone. No, I'm not no, unless no, they no, come no. on my show and ask about it. I'm not doing that. No, and like I said, go on their own. They, and, they and, well. and, and hey, look, check this out. You got other people got talk show. I guarantee you, throw down their lot, and nobody gonna say nothing about ZBT. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about it. They're not gonna question it. They're not gonna do nothing because they want an award. They want to be recognized, even if they're not even the category. So they put up, so they put up a category for uh, best uh, best person look like a horse, and you don't look like one, and they and they recognize. Well, thank you, ZBT, for recognizing me and saying I look like a horse. Man, get out of here with that. Get out of yeah. here with that. Yeah, let me say this. Let me say this. The thing, the thing is, man, y'all, they are hating what we doing because we questioning. We got questions. It, we just got questions. We're not doubting your organization. We're not saying your organization bad. We're not saying what you're doing is bad for the culture. It's not good for all of us. And then, like, 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 with me personally, bro, like, you go on my page ever since I've been in Southern Soul. You ain't gonna find one messy post I don't made. You ain't gonna find me on nobody comment talking about nobody. Because if I got exactly. an issue with you, I got your number. Exactly. So that messy shit I don't do. You ain't gonna hear. You ain't gonna see nothing on my page. If I ain't talking about see. my grandma or my children' accomplishments, I'm talking about music. That's it. But that's, yeah, a, that, that, that's, so that's the thing. Nobody not liking me. None of that. Cause I'm going to holler at you because I'm a man. That, that's the thing with me, though. That's the thing. When when I was on my little rampage, man, King King and them used to try to stop me all the time. Shout out to my <laughs> yeah, brother. Yeah, them. But yeah. but here's my thing. Man, I seen a lot of that bullshit coming, so I was trying to weed that ass back from me. He right. didn't like me. I wanted to know this, so I know I ain't wasting my time over there fucking with you and your people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't yeah, stop us yeah. over here. See, how I deal with the shit. See, this is, this is what Southern Soul based up all now. Missing this. And don't nobody want to see it. But motherfucker want... And I'm going to go back to that ZBT shit. No, nah, don't say shit now. Nah. It's all good. It's all fine and motherfucking damn. And when everybody else get their shit, get put on blast. I remember when Avell Hollywood, his wife had put off something about 
him goddamn knocking yeah, wonders yeah, out yeah, the car. Yeah, they yeah, said right. they sent that shit to me. LJ Echo was going through his motherfucking shit. They sent that shit to me. Whatever I went through, they sent that shit to everybody. Like when I got with, with the Wonder B situation. And I'm gonna tell you like this with that ZBT shit, that shit mind open to the shit. We so ain't nobody should nobody be crying by shit. Whoever got their head whooped over there, just got whooped over there. My thing is this shouldn't been fighting no goddamn way. If your head is up there, y'all should have watched that shit before you came that motherfucker. But here's the deal. Don't trick me nowhere and think you're going to beat up, uh, jump up on me and think it's going to go like that. I promise you it ain't. So that ain't, I don't know what the fuck that was over there. They can even, you know, since they done slid us in Southern Soul, since we branched off into the shit, because ain't nobody do really, they want you to say soul and shit, but people screaming Southern Soul. So since we in the shit, don't take that Southern Soul shit to that, to that shit. It was just a whole bunch of motherfuckers over out, there that Fred. do music. How, how, how you feel um, about that now, Fred? I want to ask you this. I got this situation. Uh, okay, look, boom. They got a big ass Southern Soul show in my city next month, right? Mm. Yeah. How in the fuck y'all got a Southern Soul show and the promoter from my city? Uh, you see, uh, nigga, you to see uh, me in the club talking about something. Introduce me to other folks. Did the hottest uh, thing around here. Did the yada yada. Well, how in the fuck I ain't on your show there, my dude? You know well, 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 you, well, you, well, you want you want me to answer? Are you want me to answer? I'm gonna keep it real. And yeah, the, and a dude keep on. I brought to Southern Soul and shout out to him because he doing his thing, and I'm proud of because I ain't no hater. They got him on the show. How you gonna get him on the show when I brought him to Soul and Soul? And he but doing you know the thing, but love to him. Must I know, but check this out. Check this out. People, pe people, took, people took issue with what King South said, and I called King South. And I saw whole hardly agree. You know, if, if you're a promoter and, and you and you show up in somebody's city, and you know yeah, you got some artists that. there, you got some artists there. Then why won't you extend the branch all of and put one of the local artists on the show? I called King South. I said I agree with that. You know, if, if, yeah. if you come to Colleen and I got four artists here, why won't you put one of them on the show here? They got a fan base here, so I agree with you saying, man. That makes sense. Prime is my thing, Uncle K. How in the hell can I get booked a thousand miles away every week? But y'all won't even book me at home, and y'all see what in I'm my doing. home. Because yeah. your, cause, cause your home, your hometown ain't gonna support you. They feel like they know you. They ain't gonna support like man, like uh right. I got G's down there in Clarksville. I roll with and I was a heavy hit. I won the top line gunners, me and my twin. We going out on missions and shit. Man, uh they support my stuff, a couple of them done bought my shit. But like I got I got mother down there know me like Carmen David. You know what I'm saying? He'll book me, but I guess he feels how he feels. It's other people. Like, I got a homeboy, DJ Big Baby, straight out of Roundaway, Mississippi. Little, little town outside of uh, Clark's there. Yeah, Big Baby go to war. He, I, I've been asking him to go to war for me to just bring me with band mm -hmm. over there to the uh, to, to Mississippi. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but it hadn't happened yet. So I noticed that everybody, all the other towns, miles and miles, over five hours away, that's who want us. So I done stop asking. I done stop asking. Don't even worry about it. See, I'm going to tell you something. Don't let that type of shit overtake you in this sudden soul because it'll get the best of you. But he got to jump. He got to jump his ass back in. That hey, shit'll get the best of you. And when you. Somebody said, they say? why are these artists calling around, throwing salt on artists, getting them off the show? Well, it happened to, it happened to me. It happened to me too. I'm not sure if if you already booked on the show, why you gonna knock the next the next artist? I had to call the artist behind that shit because they had said his name and they, and it was a couple times. And here's the thing too, when the artists do that, I just want them to know now the promoters go back and tell that artist eventually. He get back to that artist eventually because after a while y'all keep throwing salt on that line. They nine the promoters say, well wait the fuck a minute, let me take a look at these motherfuckers. Let me see what's going on over here. Then they fuck around and come over there and hear some good music. And then they wondering why you talking about don't book them. And then the sad part about it, half the time the people, the people that tell uh, the, the promoters not to book you, them motherfuckers don't even know you. I ain't never shook your goddamn hand. I don't think they know you by through through the media pages. So that's it. Yeah. So I'm saying. Uh, well, let me say this. Okay, Didi Simon said, um, "What's she saying? Something about why I'm not speaking on everything happening so so because it's my show. I don't have to." I, I speak. What I, happened? What I happened? Pick choose, I pick and choose the topic that I want to talk about. What she say? She was saying, "Why don't I talk about everything going on in some so?" But I do. Once people come on my show, huh? Did it? Did it sit your ass down? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all leave Didi alone. Hey man, come on, lie. Y'all leave Didi alone. Get out, Didi, with that. Y'all leave, leave Didi alone. But come but here's the thing. 
But my girl, one of your live, babe. One of your live, babe. Like, you must be on You got. You got, you know how many shows you got out there? You got the cooking show, you got Lady Coco show, you got Dean Simon show, Sweet Tea, you got, uh, uh, what's the name, uh, K-9, everybody got shows. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't I don't see nobody on the ask them or they talk about everything, no. I, I'm a, I'm a pick and chew, I'm a pick and chew. This, look, this off the record, K-Young is the host and Mr. Live is the co-host. So, so I'm gonna pick and choose whatever I wanna talk about on this show. Yeah, this shit's supposed to be raw and uncut over here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If there's anything on your mind, you know, you just get it out. Of course, like I said, I made a bunch of amends and shit. It's just, you know what I'm saying? I forgive, but I don't forget. Certain people, I just, you know what I'm saying? I can work with them, but I just ain't. As far as advancing or doing, you know, going out my way to work with a motherfucker, it, don't, it ain't going to happen that way. Hey, your hey, ass, hey, your hey, ass hey, meet hey, me at stage, hey, huh? Hey, I live like that. What, what T.I. said on that song. Now, I don't think I'm bad. I just don't kiss no ass or take shit, and I'm a grown man. That, Find you that's it. to play with. Yeah. You don't yeah. like me when you see me. Hey, hey my buddy, my buddy Gerald Ford. Hey, yeah, live, sir. Gerald Ford on here. What's up, yeah. Gerald Ford? What you got to say, man? <laughs> that's my boy. Uh, that's Gerald Ford uh, on here. That's my dog. Right hey, but there. like I say, y'all, no, no disrespect to DD or anybody I said. I'm just saying, hey, we discuss everything in Southern Soul. We yeah. have discussed. We discussed the fight. We done discussed everything. We done talk about these guys. Look, hey, it's off the record. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't doing that tonight. We ain't I mean, that. I mean, my 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 thing is with that whole situation. Like I said. I don't know what the fuck happened with that shit, but the thing is, man, ain't no sense of getting motherfucking mad if somebody sent that shit to right. the video. You can, on, you can, man. yeah, ain't no sense of getting mad because, like I said, everybody else business got thrown out here, but motherfuckers was obliged to sit there and, 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 and eat popcorn and watch that and watch that. But then, see, since you say something about something like that, people trying to stop, man, motherfucker can't stop us from saying shit about that shit. Man. That was bullshit. That man. was bullshit it's over there. That, that was bullshit. I'm gonna just gonna put it out there. That's bullshit. It's yeah. a lot of shit Fuck. when I first got in the game. Yeah. It's some people that sent to the inbox that I know about that to other people about me. You know what I'm saying? And I never said nothing about it. And I'm still ain't gonna say who it was and what it was. But right. I know, but my thing is, so bro, I'm gonna say that it's four of us on here, right? Out of yeah. all four of us, it motherfuckers in inboxes not talking about each and every one of us. Yeah. Right now. Oh yeah. Right oh now. yeah. Like like uh uh it, oh, I know of, that. It's a lot of motherfuckers that, that, that talk off the record. It's a lot of motherfuckers that been talking about each and every one of us on here yeah. and they'll see us and dap us down like they the coolest dap motherfuckers. Us in the down, world. bro. Oh, I already know I, I feel that fake shit. But my thing is this, I already know, man. There was a couple queens, man, went up under some uh some another set of these southern soul people out here. And that motherfucker drug my ass through the mud like a motherfucker. And they yeah. were telling the they were telling the person that one of my queens was sitting right up under there. They ain't even fucking know it. I got every word back. But I said and I wonder daily, if you feel that type of way about me, why the fuck you ain't block me yet? Right. But see, I'm gonna keep your I'm gonna keep your ass right there so your ass can watch. But the next See, motherfucker I ain't got here, goddamn, you know me, goddamn, I'm going to go on roast your ass. Don't think I ain't been doing my motherfucking research. I don't think I ain't been, I ain't had my ears to the streets either. Yeah, ain't got one more time to put my name in your mouth. I don't even fuck with y'all like that. I ain't never fuck with you. Among, uh, among I see DJ Ken, DJ Ken Ken on it. What's up, DJ Ken Ken? Hey, Ken Ken, what up? Friend, nah. motherfucker, Ken, 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 Ken. Motherfucking inbox motherfucker about me talking about, man, why you talking to that nigga? Man, I don't why got the same inbox. Oh, I don't got the same like why you talking to that nigga? Why you deal with that nigga? How you know that nigga? You a groupie. What she the fuck? Group was on your tail, nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, she can't she can't listen to nobody but you. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But it's crazy. But look. Somebody yeah. But hey man, it, the, 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 the real deal is this right here, man. You know, you guys keep keep being real, man. Keep being yourselves. Don't be influenced. Don't be influenced by, uh, uh, you know, people or awards or something like that, man. You know, y'all keep doing your thing, man, and keep being men, honorable men. You know, mm -hmm. and lie, you, and lie. you better not put on there one of them little ass t-shirts no more and come on the damn show. Yeah. You can't, you can't sit back, you can't sit back and just and watch you people know. do stuff, man, and, and just agree with it when you know you don't agree. You know, so, so, but, but like, 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 like you were saying, right. people in right. inbox, you know, I mean, artists be in my inbox. Sending me stuff, sending me. Kid, what you think about this? I said, 
Oh, so you don't want to say nothing about it. Okay, well, I don't, I don't mind saying nothing about it, man. I don't mind saying nothing about anything that's going on that just don't sit right with me. And like I said, people don't like it. I don't care. I don't personally disrespect nobody. But if you if you doing something, if you got you got something going on with you and 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 and, and it comes across and you come on this show or like that, like that stuff that happened out of ZBT again, you know, there wasn't there wasn't ZBT's fault. You can't control no. you can't you can't control grown people out there fighting acting a the damn food. You can't do that. Right. It happens all no, the time no, no, no. in football games, stadiums, baseball, you know, but 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 you are overall responsible if your name is stamped to it. You're overall responsible, and that's just my opinion on it. And like I said, you got to get out ahead of it and and stop stop texting people. Y'all need to stop. I'm this is everybody. Stop texting people. Talking about people take their clothes down and all that stuff. You no, know, hey, that's, man. That's, that's three that's three four days old now. You know that just let that run its course. Like everything else, it's gonna run out. It's gonna that, run that, out. That, but 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 right now, and like I was telling you, knew before you fell off. Hey man, don't let that shit when people are uh, booking people in your town. Don't let that shit in bargain, cause see that's gonna take away time uh, uh, time for you to think and make another move and get gone. Yeah, fuck but see, but, but, but what, I fuck with you. what I what I ain't respect about it, Fred is the nigga yeah. I brought into Southern Soul. He from my city too. Y'all got this nigga on the show. He didn't but drop your name. Southern Soul if it weren't for me. He didn't drop yeah, your well, name. Hey, look, look. He ain't drop your name in the head, but that's the way the cook is crumbling and shit. That's what everybody ain't built like that. Hey, look, that's the way the cook is. You good. Don't worry about it. But as for you, K, K Young, on top of that, man, I'm going to put it to you like this, and this off the record, man. Fuck them goddamn folks at ZBT and whoever don't feel like that shit should have been said nowhere. Because the way I see it now is here. When my situation went down, y'all shared my shit. When the that shit went down, y'all shit here. When they bear shit went down, y'all shit his shit that motherfucking well. I don't know nothing about them folk personal life, but it hit my motherfucking inbox. So don't nobody want to hear that shit. No, you knew dude. damn well you dealing in Southern Soul. These are a bunch of the, the the group is the bandwagon group is that's coming along and ain't buying shit and all that shit. Them the main motherfuckers keeping up the myth. But then soon as it, but you know, you know, shit fall down here, right? Shit really come from a head when then by the time making one of them groups, shit get back out of, out of hand, it go back to a head. Now a head now ain't coming into the shit. Now they throwing rocks and hiding their hand, can't be real enough to say, yeah, I see it. Or yeah, I did it. I said that or did this or whatever, but they can't do it. And I know it's a lot of that mess ass shit. That's why I don't fuck with a lot of motherfuckers that claim they in this southern soul shit. These different groups they got now, man. Ain't uh, all I hey look, it's King's team for L over here. King's team for life, baby. And affiliates. And where the affiliates well, fuck, come hey, from is that's you, when I fuck here, with my bro. brothers. And the brother, yeah. And the brother that's out there in the mud struggling, I see you got potential. Ask a motherfucker. I'm about one of the first artists that has been reaching back to these young niggas, you know what I'm saying? And the big dogs ain't even reached back yet. Omar came after, uh, after I was reaching out for the mud niggas. Omar then came and, and stuck a hand out for my head. And as he started pulling me, I'm started pulling my brothers right along with our motherfucking ass. I'm going hey, right I, where I, they, like say, where they said. Right yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, you, look, you, look, look, at God, look, look at God. And you in a good position. Like, you in a good position. Everybody in good position. Me ain't got to worry about it, because I know one thing, when we go catch that mic, we on they motherfucking ass. I believe that's a lot of what they, we bought, we put some Mississippi, some Texas, and some Louisiana together on the tent. And I yeah. like what I saw then. It wasn't yeah. all Louisiana. It wasn't all Mississippi. Up, it wasn't all Texas. Sure did. Had a damn way. Knew where you were, boy. We had a bar. I was there. Ain't hey, no. Huh? <laughs> You I miss one. You miss one. You miss one. You miss one. I know. Hey, Kevin. Hold on, Fred. Hold on, Fred. Hold on, Fred. I got to ask Kevin the question right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me ask news this question. Hit me this stupid ass nigga, man. What, man? You got a pager. <laughs> his, ass, his ass stuck in the nineties. His ass, his ass in the eighties with that shit. Hey, Nigga, hey. you pull up a page in this bitch. I'm gonna run out. This hey, hey, okay. hey, Kevin, Kevin, yeah. you know it. You know everybody about getting ready for you, right? Hey. And they probably gonna. They they they, they, they got to be looking at goddamn flip phone tonight. They want to when you, when you gonna be playing in your next shows? By when you gonna start? Uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta do some research. I, I talked to a couple artists 
So uh, they uh, want to come. So I, I got to do some. I got matter of fact tomorrow. I got to go look at some areas. Okay, cool. <laughs> what about nigga yeah. got a flip phone yeah. like a motherfucker? Yeah, I think. I think it's time. I think it's time to get back going here. Let everybody else and got going, you know. And you know they had the thing about the PPP law. Okay, some people got a PPP. Law. Okay, so. one thing. I, one thing I know about the law, you got to pay it back. So, but if you can got them and take the loan and do the right thing with it and flip the money over, and when it's time you to pay, when the tax time you know come what? around, handle your business. Other than that, I, I don't knock no motherfuckers from getting the PPP loan, but just make it work and make it work right. I hey, can't yeah, stand. Don't blow that shit. You better turn yeah, yeah, in the yeah, 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 Oh God. Yeah, yeah, because it's a loan. But um Gerald Ford said take off that midget shirt. Yeah. Weak ass you know, shirt. You know what? Y'all ain't gonna trip on me by my motherfucking shirt, nigga. I don't give a damn. Oh, that bitch is a hey, hey, that, that ain't shit. That ain't, <laughs> hey, that 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 ain't shit. The, the other day, the other day when we called, we we was testing, we were testing this live thing. Got live, was sitting up there, looking like he about to go to work. Stand up, stand up at the door and read his right. <laughs> 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 Man, off the record, off the record, lad. Why I'm at work talking to two guys in their drawers? <laughs> yeah, I had it. Hey, look, I had my, I had my shirt off. I had my shirt off. Check this out, my shirt. I was sitting on the porch. It was early. We were trying to get it right. K Young was out there on his patio. <gasps> then when K Young got up, how about one man live? Fell out laughing, got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 <laughs> Dragon hey, y'all, boy, y'all stupid. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but look, I want to say that. I want to say that. I want. I want to say that. Everybody keep up the good work and mind y'all, man. Mind y'all, man. Y'all watch the one that I always talking about. Somebody gonna be hating or somebody setting y'all up for fear yeah. on this goddamn yeah. podcast. It can't do. They ain't gonna do nothing but help you, man. Watch that. The motherfucker that bring that type of bomb is a hater. See, we don't know nothing about them over here in Kingston. I knew I, I've been running motherfuckers away from us when I started cussing motherfuckers out and shit like fuck it and fuck <laughs> you. I don't, you we don't we don't need no we don't need no help with that over there on that end. But I'm gonna tell you something. There's a lot of promoters out there watching and looking in from this live right now because the promoters that have been booking us lately, man, we don't know these people. But these people got the money and they bring yeah, it up. Man, like, man, I we don't lie. know them. I don't, I don't, I don't know them. When I first jumped in this shit, when I first jumped in this shit, I was sending emails out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these promoted him back. Man, this rap music, this don't fit in Southern Soul. Okay, that's mm -hmm. your opinion, man. But good music, good music. Yeah. How in the hell I'm booked from Friday to Sunday every goddamn week? It's something. Yeah, well, right. yeah. See, people, people like different styles of music, man. How you come with your swag, with your music, that's how you see it. When your music drop, man, they, they they put a face to it. They'll know when you come on the radio. See, you'll start learning folks by ear and shit when you just ride and they'll say, oh, that's news. Oh, that's Mr. Lie. That's real Southern Soul fan. I you guarantee know, you. Some I of them bad know. wagon motherfuckers, yeah. they play a song, you ask them who it is, they couldn't tell you. And that song been out a minute, they sure know it. I bet they can't yeah. tell you. Hold on for a second. Did he sign to my questions being yeah. screened? Did he sign what questions have you asked that we haven't asked? And uh, Walt, hey, Walt Jesus said he got a question for News William. How do you feel to be an innovator? How do you feel to be an innovator? To be a who? Innovator. Innovator. Feel good. Yeah. yeah. It feel good, yeah. man, because I, I, I'm doing, I, I'm sitting trend for like what a lot of folks were scared to do. You know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of folks were scared to come over here or a lot of folks want to sell them. I'm the type of person, I don't give a fuck if you accept me or not. I'm going to go hard yeah. anyway and I'm going to get my bag. So, my mindset on two on two things. When I holler at you a DJ or a promoter, you can't tell him but two things, yes or no. You know That's what I'm saying? You say That's no, it. Ooh, I'm but, but the thing no is, feeling. it ain't none but, of that. I'm still gonna speak to you, I'm still gonna like your post because that's just your opinion, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, but you know what news it can work and it can happen because Boosie had a hit song in Southern Soul called Yeah, I love on that Boosie yeah, Boosie yeah, yeah, it is, it that is, love it your is. Family. That love yeah, your yeah, family. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah it, it, can, it can happen. It can, it can work. happen. 
You know what I'm saying? Man, it might, it might drop the whole blues album. Didn't nobody say that right. in the booth. No, if you, no, I'm going to put it to like that. As you, as you keep going, news, as you keep going, so you just get, you getting your feet wet. Like, and this to me, like, you still got a little milk behind you, yeah, but yeah, you don't yeah, learn. Cause yeah, yeah. Child, so as you, as you go into it, and more and more you hit those crowds and shit like that, you're going to be going to the studio, make doing those uh, hip yeah. so, hip hop soul songs, and right. they're going to start to fall in line for you how they're supposed to be. You'll see it. You just watch right. your crowd. Don't turn Everybody your back to the crowd when you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just time. timing. You know, you, you know, see me, like, see me. I just get my feet wet. Like when I do that new <laughs> yeah. blues album, I just to get my foot in the door. I'm still yeah. learning this Southern Soul blues shit. Cause by me being 34, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I'm sitting back listening to a lot of old head. Now I listen to, I go on YouTube and just type in Southern Soul music, blue music. So I can like catch mm -hmm. the feel on how these folk coming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I, I, I listen to all y'all niggas me, though, bro. Me, yeah, you have, to, you have to study. Just yeah. study it. Yeah. Just study and, and find your own lane. That's why all of us sound different. Everybody got their own sound and style, you know what I'm saying? But when I say I'm uniquely different from the red, I ain't heard this motherfucker yet uh, man, I ain't gonna can lie, sound man. like I'm me. I'm gonna tell you to me, man. When oh, I man. first seen you, I said, man, that's a Southern Soul webbing. Then they ain't got the webbing. Yeah, that motherfucker. Then they got they the webbing. They call me webbing everything, yeah. T like webbing head on. <laughs> that nigga yeah. look like webbing. Yeah, that's what they tell me. They, they call me. Like, they I call me webbing. I know me last week. Man, the phone. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they kicked his ass off there too. It's crazy. We always get kicked out. That nigga ain't never gonna be T no more, boy. Yeah. Right. Hey, 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 I told him that last week when I see him. I said, nigga, you like Webber? Like, that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, they got. 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 What up, Chef? Chef, you on here next week, Chef? What it do? You on here next week, Chef? They got B Flipper, B Flipper on here. They got Lebrado. Flipper, what's up, Flipper? What up, Brado? Mika, Mika on here. Uh, Shakira, Roslyn, uh, Marcia yeah. Harris, Girl Four, DJ Cowboy, Shante. Uh, let me see who else. Tuck on here, Jazzy Lee, George Beaver, yeah. my sister Shantel. Uh, man, got a lot of money. Uh, Shout out to all of them. Hey, now My bad boy. news. You got some girls. You got some girls out here. More, you know. I haven't seen another guy. I know. I just haven't seen another guy rapper stuff so hard. But I seen two. I know two girls so far. That's Shakara and uh, Ice Doll. I think. I heard of them too. You got the. You got the other guy too. You got the other guy to uh, do his Ooh. thing with Yayo. The one that be doing a little song with Yayo, that young boy Yayo got big Yayo. He got he be coming okay, out to doing the thing have, too. So he kind of like he kind of like girl, the, the ladies are doing their thing. Sojo, Sojo, oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah, Sojo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They doing their thing. The ladies are doing their thing, man. You got coffee on it. Coffee brown, black coffee. You yeah, know, black coffee's a rapper. Black nah, coffee. she no, uh -uh. she do soul. She do soul, don't. Yeah, oh, do okay, soul. okay. Yeah, she do soul. Yeah, Dang, just me. Yeah. James Red on here. Most of all. What up, Red? Mo. Yeah. Yeah. Mo. What up, man? Red. But look, up, man? I, hey, I, hey, look, let me ask y'all a question before I go, man. So uh if that if that any advice y'all can get to an artist, man, what would y'all tell them coming over to Southern Soul? Go ahead, King Fred, and then you are. Yeah. I, I know I know I already told man, look here, learn how to register your own shit up. I don't understand how y'all got if this shit ain't universal, uh, uh fucking the Grammy sign in your ass, you can go your ass, you do your research, go on CD Baby, or you do Distro Kid, TuneCore. I prefer CD Baby Pro Publishing, if, especially yeah. if you ain't got yeah. your own publishing company, you go CD Baby. I got my own publishing company and Pro Public. Register your own shit out, get your own money. Because when I say, God damn, them hundreds drops every other week for me, God damn, how motherfuckers been buying my uh, my music. I'm going to just say this. Shout out to all my support that keep buying my shit. And they buying it fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So every, yeah, the yeah, more I, they buy, I, the more I, I'm, I'm dropping. Oh, my goddamn fans. What's up, Hey, hey, uh, 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 damn, uh, King Fred, uh, Captain mm -hmm. Jackson, what's up, nephew? What's up, uh, McGill? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, news. Well, yeah, okay. Man. My advice here, man, stay consistent, stay hungry, and stay loyal to the people that are with you from day one, man. And stay out the mess and shit. You'll go a long way. You stay yeah. real who are with you from day one, yeah. watch how far you make it. Don't forget no people that were there for you when you were down, man. 
You know what yeah. I'm saying? When you, when you first started, you know what I'm saying? People that were shopping, telling you, hey, and all that, keep it real with them people, because them the ones going to rise to them wheel fire. <coughs> it be the new people with them big names that ain't gonna roll with you. The one who asked you be kissing. No the one gonna say yeah. fucking in. Why them people that that were really tell them again? Yeah, yeah, man. Keep it real with who keep it real with you, yeah. man. There you go. Yeah. What you got? What you got, live? Only thing I'm gonna say is this, y'all. Thank you, fellas, for coming on, man, and making it making a good show, a better show, and telling y'all stories. And, and letting these people have some laughs after the bullshit that we done had this weekend and the week that we have had. You know what I'm saying? It's always a pleasure to talk to y'all one-on-one on, on, on our conversation. Y'all know what we talk about. But uh, to have y'all on here tonight is a, is, is, is a blessing. It's, it's a pleasure. And thank y'all for coming on, y'all. Well, well I, can you, br- man, can you know, breathe man. in that? Can you breathe in that tight ass shirt? We hear you kind of yeah, breathing no, a little hard. You're trying to deliver that, you know that, you know that goddamn I'm message. Say, <laughs> say, say, let me hold up, goddamn it. <laughs> 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 I'm coming over there. Celebrate later, goddamn it. Let me get this nigga. Let me say this. Let me get this Let me get him first. Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get him. I wasn't going to say nothing about that motherfucking goddamn. David Ruffin suit you had on down That's there. all right. That's a, hey, you know what? You know what? That's all right. That's all right. Nigga, hey, get what? Shiny, get what? Get what? Motherfucker. Hey, get what? Hey, hey, get what? Get what? Get what? shoes on. Look like you motherfucking skated that, in ice. Look. I hey, don't look. say what? nothing about them motherfuckers. Hey, look. What? When I got to work, when I got to work, them queens said, boy, you know you were clean at that damn show. You, you look like a... You look like a... They told me... They look four years ago, motherfucker. They look they say you look like a quarter, goddamn. <laughs> you a twin years ago. Yeah, that's all right. Years, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You wait you wait till the next suit I put on your way. Hey, you wait till Say what the hell he saying. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? Hey, you know what? Hey, what's up there, Mrs. Smoke? You know what I'm gonna do, man? I'm gonna no. have, have a get together at my house, and I'm gonna invite certain artists. I'm gonna invite a lot of fans to come over here and just have fun with the young family. You know what I'm saying? Cool. And see, and see, fun, and see y'all two guys. Well, you know, live coming, but y'all two guys. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm your know. nephew now, man. Yeah. I know I'm locked yeah. in. Yeah, you know, I'm coming. Mika and them come down here, man. We just have a good time. I hire me a, a cookout back, man. We you know cook and eat all day and just have a good time, man. And, and some of y'all fans can come down, man. You know, like I said, you know, Tucker right there in Houston. I call Tucker Fat Daddy. You know, a handful of people just to come over. We just have a good time, man. Because look, Southern Soul ain't all about no, about no BS, man. It's about don't like, don't like, call. We, don't, we laugh, don't call. Yeah. Don't call Fat Daddy because we'll fuck around and I'll be sitting down writing a goddamn verse to a song and you fuck around. <laughs> gotta find the studio. Hurry up and get up hey, there, goddamn. Hey, when you got along? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, Hey, look. 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 Hey, 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 look. Hey, look. Hey, 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 I don't mind getting together with artists, man. Yeah, exactly. Jack. Because That's my boy. It, it, look, it can't it can't always be about dollars and cents, man. It has to be about relationships. Yeah. About you know, yeah. Relationships, relationships gonna take you further, man, because you never look. I tell people all the time when they sit up and talk this shit about me, it's artists who have called me that I was that I, I'm cool with. There was, you know, uh there was, you know, uh brave enough to ask me to borrow money, send it five dollars, fifty dollars here, whatever. I don't mind that, man, you know, but but it never came back to nobody. I never told her. I let so and so go. Man, I, look, I'm a grown man. I'm 51 years old. I'm a 1970 guy. I'm, I was almost in the 69 when my sister did that. I was born in 1970. I'm 51 years old. I'm a man. You know, so. You, you, you would have looked good in that suit I had on on the 10th day. Damn, no, so no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. That motherfucker suit. That motherfucker suit looks like he borrowed that bitch. Hey, Cadillac man on here. What's up, Cadillac man? Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, Cadillac man, you gonna fight. You gonna quit having all these goddamn shows in Albany, Alabama and ain't booked me on. Exactly. <laughs> uh, damn. 
You done Big J, hey, hey Big J on here. What's up, Big J? Yeah, Big J on there. Yeah, man. Man, you know I got much love for you, nigga. Oh yeah, man. You already know that nigga, that crazy motherfucker over there for that goddamn flip phone. I'm gonna rag your ass. We get off this goddamn line. Hello, get him. Hello, get him. Hello. That boy crazy. I agree, Marcy. Yeah, Where baby. your flag at, Cam? Now look, now I know y'all weren't born in 1970, right? Right. Yeah, I know I was born in 1970, so y'all know what this meant right here, right? Right. Good night. Yeah. See y'all next week.